Hi everyone, very good afternoon guys. I hope I'm audible and visible to all of you. And uh, welcome to this three day marathon which we are going to have for both the subjects, path as well as micro. But before we begin, and now that you are very close to the INI and also to the NEET PG, so I'm considering both set of students because I'm assuming that all of you have joined in. So before that question arises, I'll answer it myself that should the NEET PG students also uh, go through this LRR, INI CT? So of course, yes, you should. There is no doubt about it. All of you should be seeing both the LRRs for INI as well as NEET. Okay. So yes, I hope the AV is working well and if all's good, then we can proceed with the discussion further. So this is the, uh, you know, two days, first two days is PATH and then the third day is going to be one mega big session for microbiology biology and you know the pdf question had to come up before we start so pdf of course will be provided and that goes a uh, you know that goes without saying for all the sessions that are being conducted and with me you guys have been associated since a very long time so you know pdf is something that you will certainly get okay so uh, micro dr jatin don't worry it will be one session but will be obviously be a lengthier session than expected so let me just first tell you guys the plan in two minutes and then we are going to start without wasting any time the first thing is that all of you once all your LRRs are done you are going to appear for the champions exam of INICT which is going to be conducted from 17th to 21st of April so any time in this duration you have kept a day off or half a day off where you are going to sit and give this exam because this is be going this is going to be like a grand test that you give and all of us have curated questions so of course this is going to include a lot of things which we have taught you and we believe that are important for all of you so this is the first thing second now let me start with what are we um, uh, going to talk about so that's the two day plan that i just want to show you guys this is our day one and there's a long list of topics which i believe all of you can see we'll try that whatever comfortably we can finish today which i want that we should finish these topics today and then we will go on with the session tomorrow so today as you can all see i've put out all the inict favorite topics some of you wanted you know immunodeficiency pcr then you wanted a lot of immunohistochemistry you wanted couple of genetics then things that we don't read like protein electrophoresis histopath processing we know pap smear and fnac is going to come in ini so the way that i've formulated these are the sure shot ini ct topics you know ini depends a lot on previous year topics and then of course i have to teach you a lot of other things also which i will teach you tomorrow including a lot of things uh, which are very new like you must have read in the news about the cart therapy right so all these new things I have kept for tomorrow as well. So two days, that's the plan. PDF, please do not ask. You will get it after the session. Hamesha mila, is barbi PDF milega. Unannotated, now I cannot circulate because the class has started. But maybe from tomorrow, I can give you the unannotated PDF beforehand also, okay? And for this session also, I'll give you an unannotated PDF uh, once the session is over. In case you want to keep it for your revision, you can do that, okay? FMG students, yes, off and on, you can attend this session wherever I feel that it's going way too far for the exam I let you know what you don't have to study okay this is all good for everyone now we are going to not talk about anything to do with strategy exam tension and all of that sub which we are going to keep towards the end my plan is not to make this a very very lengthy session which you cannot revise so my plan is to make it power packed include everything but finish it within two hours so that it is easily doable for all of you so we are gonna begin with the session now and no one in between worries about number one exam tension number two pdf tension yes our attention post two hour 15 minutes that we are going to settle okay all good are we ready to begin with this class and the only thing that you will have to bear with and tolerate a little is that i have a sore throat so that might come across as a little bad uh, you know thing in between so that is this the slight disclaimer that i'm giving you beforehand okay Chalo, all good. Let us begin. We are starting and these are the topics in no particular order. We are going to start as per the importance. Question one is a PYQ and this is what we start. What is the fixation technique employed to examine fat and histopathology? So fat and histopathology, immunohistochemistry, neutral buffered formalin, cryostat or paraffin. And uh, yes, I've started getting answers. So that is going to be cryostat. Whenever I'm talking about fat or lipid in general that they talk about, 
out you know that lipid will never be you you will never be able to see lipid on neutral buffered formalin to be able to see lipid you will have to actually why can't you see it with you know you can see it sometimes but why is it not advised because lipid will get is something which is going to be soluble so whenever you will add chemicals you will say that ma'am in histopathology processing if i am adding chemicals like alcohol or if i am adding chemicals like xylene these are the things because of which the fat will wash off it will get solubilized it will wash off so i'm not going to use this the best that i use is cryostat the first answer it's a good note because everyone has answered it now you must see what a cryostat looks like this is the outside of the machine which i expect the aims i and i examiner would want to ask you so how will you identify this in the exam you can see something like a wheel on the side why can you see that wheel who is going to rotate that wheel with the handle because if you look zoom in and look inside this is where you've kept the tissue and why did you call it cryostat because the tissue is going to be frozen you have kept it at somewhere to be less than minus 20 degrees that is the temperature so cryo means frozen and stat means it will be frozen stat so now you don't have to use those chemicals so fat will not solubilize fat will not dissolve let me now show you the inside of the machine can you see this is the tissue like whatever tissue you had whichever biopsy and this is what you've used as a gel and with that gel what have you done you have have basically frozen that gel so now it's frozen and can you all see there is a blade over here so with this blade now you are going to cut the tissue that is what you do in a cryostat why not paraffin as i answered earlier that with paraffin and neutral buffered formalin or any other chemical that you are talking about the fat tends to change so it might get washed away so it's not that we are not doing it we do it on paraffin wax staining and paraffin wax embedding but the ideal most when cryostat is there you will always mark cryostat because all others are going to have changes on fat and fat fat when then will not be visible is this first question okay and it's not over yet where else are you using frozen section a lot these days this is apart from fat fat is a very small thing let's think of bigger things where this machine can be used it can be used for the intraoperative diagnosis of cancers so which cancers and which departments are particularly using this so especially in the surgery department where they tend to send frozen section breast cancer cases MRMs mastectomies or gynae department where they are sending the ovarian tumors so in ovarian tumors for example you know why did I say intraoperative because when the gynecologist has removed say it's a teratoma gynecologist has removed it and the gynecologist has sent it for a frozen section so in that duration do you know that the patient will not be sutured back up the patient is intraoperative on the OT table right now the sample the ovary has been sent to my department i have 15 minutes to give the diagnosis that is why i said stat because the diagnosis is given very quickly so now if i give the diagnosis that it is a benign tumor the gynecologist will stitch the patient back up that ovary has been removed and it was a benign tumor if i give a clinical suspicion of a cancer then the gynecologist will have to do a little bit of a more radical surgery so this is margin status very good margin status is also important margin status is more important in breast cancer so this is why they are saying that frozen section is one of the most you know advanced and useful techniques for the intraoperative diagnosis everyone's okay with this first baby question that has come in i and i now let's take it a little further and talk about regular histoprocessing and you have to arrange the steps this is their favorite technique what is the step in the correct sequence of histopathology processing fixation clearing mounting and dehydration and there is a mnemonic that i've told you for this multiple times in your rr as well as main videos and your previous lrrs let me know the answer i've got an answer of c from most of you and some of you have given me an answer of b so let me see who's right and who's not first let me teach you then i'll come back to the question fix the concept in your brain very good dr naveen has told us so what is this whenever you so look at these two machines you will say okay ma'am these two machines are put in every pathology laboratory why because any histopath specimen for example breast biopsy prostate biopsy or any biopsy on this planet has to be put inside this machine so you can see this machine has multiple containers one two three four five and if you look at the other form of this machine it has multiple jars one two three four five so tissue is going like first it will get dipped in this then it will get dipped in this then it will get dipped in this so what exactly is happening so the name of this is nothing but a tissue processing machine and like i said fix the concept so fix se ma'am sabse pehle hota hai 
fixation i can't proceed further till the time i don't know which fixative is being used i cannot study the rest of the steps all of you will first have to do fill in the blank now is question ke andar ek aur question question mein question layering is happening so you will first all of you will have to answer all the fixatives that are important for your exam If you are proceeding with light microscopy, what are you going to use? Ten percent neutral buffered formalin, which is written as NBF. And why, ma'am? What is this ten percent ka funda? Why not twenty, thirty? Because formalin is not a liquid, na. Formalin actually, me. What is formalin? Formalin is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a gas. So I have basically changed a gas into a liquid for my purpose. And you will be studying the gas form in microbiology. When I go to microbiology, I will teach you that. for maldehyde gas is used for sterilization disinfection but here i have changed it into a liquid that is why i have kept a 10% concentration for others you know some things i have already written in today's class taki we don't waste time in writing too much and we can revise maximum in a lesser duration so light microscopy is 10% neutral buffered formalin next is electron microscopy here we use 2 to 2.5% glutaraldehyde so one is formaldehyde one is glutaraldehyde now comes the real question. question what will you use for testicular biopsy so you will say ma'am first tell me why are you doing a testicular biopsy because if the examiner says that the testicular biopsy is being done for a case of infertility they don't they want to know is there any arrest spermatogonia primary spermatocyte is there any spermatogenesis arrest that has happened then i will use a bowens fixative bowens fixative is used because bowens is very nice it preserves those spermatocytes very well i will not use formalin in that case because formalin is very strong all the spermatocyte primary secondary spermatocyte wo sab damage ho jayega i don't want that i will use a very mild fixative it's good for morphology preservation so if i want to see the spermatocytes it's a very good thing but if i have a case a surgery is being done for a seminoma or a teratoma or something of cancerous of the testis then i will put it in the same formalin wala then i'm not interested in seeing the spermatocytes i'm interested in seeing the cancer cells so usual so always ask why have you, why has a testicular biopsy been done infertility pucha to mark bowens and cancer ya seminoma ya aisa kuch hua to then you'll mark 10% nbf now let's come to bone marrow biopsy again over here in most of the hospitals the same nbf is being used when in doubt formalin is your go to thing but sometimes they might not have formalin and they will ask you any other fixative that can be used that is the zinker's fixative there are some more also written in some textbooks that is b5 fixative these i am telling you that you know mostly formalin hoga options mein but because it's ini ct and they might want to ask you something extra so then b5 and zinker's will help you now come to the most important gynae question pap smear ke liye kaun sa fixative hota hai big time controversy because pathology books say that it is ethanol and gynae books say that it is ethanol and ether so what am i supposed to mark and many of you asked me this so dekho jahan ka like if it would have been a treatment question i would have said please go for gynecology books but this is my uh, area this is my domain so i will say go for the pathology books and pathology books always say that ethanol alone is a better fixative than a combination of ethanol and ether koi galat nahi hai it's about selecting one best answer so when it's pathology domain go for pathology textbooks ethanol is better if ethanol is not there you have ethanol ether then mark that coming to the last one we will be studying karyotyping today what is the fixative for karyotyping it is going to be the carnoy fixative and always in the exam i have told you there are a lot of triads which i'll be teaching you tomorrow carnase triad and carnase complex and carnase so always remember i'm talking about which fixative so remember car for car carnoy and it has to be carnoy like karyotyping ke liye carnoy fixative not carne carni and all and they will next ask you what are the two you know the two chemicals that i use this is methanol and glacial acetic acid and in what ratio remember i've taught you in your notes c and a c is third alphabet a is first alphabet so the ratio of carnoids is going to be 3 is to 1 fixatives hamare sare khatam we made one list ini ka favorite fixation is done let me come back that first ma'am you had said fix the concept in your brain and you have now finished off all the fixatives after that fix the so the will remind me of de that is the next step is dehydration tissue mein se take out all the water what 
what can I use for dehydration? I know alcohol takes out all the water. I know acetone also takes out all the water. These are very good dehydrating agents, right? So alcohol and acetone fix the. Next, let's come to concept. See for clearing. I will have to clear all this that I have added. Fixative, alcohol, yes, sab clear karna hai. So remember, clear means clean. And for clean, what chemical will I use? I will use xylene. Clean ke le, I will use xylene. And you know, now you realize, na, you are putting so many things. Ma'am, you are putting formalin, you are putting alcohol, acidone, xylene. That is why you have said that this is not the ideal technique for fat staining. Aapne kaha tha, fat ke le, this is not good because fat will get washed off. So fat ke le, don't put all these chemicals. Put it directly in a frozen machine. Put it in cryostat. Freeze it and look out for fat. So you don't like to do all of this for fatty tissues. Let's come back. Fixation, dehydration, clearing ya cleaning. Fix Fix the concept in your brain. So in for impregnation. What is impregnation? So ma'am, you you have cleaned everything. Now it's time to fill everything back. And now what you're going to fill it with is going to be liquid paraffin. That is when many of you were asking me, paraffin kab aega? You are going to put it in liquid paraffin wax. Finally, fix the concept in is also done. Ma'am, after that brain, bedding and blocking. What is bedding and blocking? You will make a block. Which block? You will make a block of paraffin. And that block of paraffin will have this tissue of yours. Jo bhi biopsy tha, endometrial, prostate, breast. So repeat the steps up till now because you are done with histopathology. Fix the concept in your brain. Fixation, dehydration, clearing, impregnation, bedding and blocking. Tissue tayar. Now what I have to do? I have to cut and stain. Simple. You will cut the tissue with the blade and you will stain it. I think no one wants me to repeat that staining is done by pink and blue HNE. So staining is ready ma'am. My slide is ready. But is it enough? My slide is ready. Should I just, this is my tissue. Should I look at it under the microscope? No. If you see it after one day, the slide will be dry because of air. So what will you do? You will have to keep it protected. You will add a cover slip and that is the question that I am expecting this time because ye sab to kafi bar a chuka hai. this is a PYT so they will want to you know improvise on it so when I say they have added a cover slip please remember the cover slip will have to stick on top with some liquid some fluid and that is known as mounting of the slide and mounting is done by a chemical called DPX that is what could be one of the intricate PYT ka improvisation that I would ask you so remember what is mounting mounting is put a cover slip to protect my tissue and how do I stick that cover slip with a chemical called DPX very good right so this is all done I've already told you where do we not do fixation and other things where obviously we are wanting to go in for uh, like I did for fat I was not doing any of these chemicals right question one two three sare ho gaye. jitna bhi socha tha everything we have done now I come back I have to do fix the concept so fix step number one the so that is going to be step number two fix the concept so remember that is going to be cleaning and of course that is the last one so this is the order with which you had to mark over here oh yeah sabko everyone has settled with it so it is uh, the step wise that i have written that is done chalo let's move on to the next question which is i'm sick of asking you this question so i have this time changed it i've put a little bit of um, DPX ka full form, Dr. Naveen, uh, okay, DPX ka full form is Dystyrene Polysterine Xylenol. I don't think you would want to know, okay, and that's a very shorter name that I've told you. The chemical formula is even bigger. Trust me, you don't want to know. Okay, let's move on further. All of the following are benefits of the pap smear technique shown below, except some pap smear technique has been shown below. You will tell me which of these is not the benefit of it. So ease in reporting, clean background, manual processing, minimal sample wastage. Dr. Neha says C, that's the first comment that I've got. I'm waiting for other answers. Mostly everyone is saying C. So let's see if you guys are right or wrong. What is this technique that you had made? Ma'am, ye jo pap smear tha. So pap smear is going to be the... Uh, which one? Liquid based cytology, LBC. Someone asked me, okay, ma'am, do I have to see previous LRR? No, Dr. Sonal, you don't have to see previous INICT LRR. But I will tell you what exactly and what video to watch after this once our session is over, okay? So remember, what is not an advantage? Manual processing. I'll tell you, this is liquid based cytology. Shuru se shuru karte and then we'll come back to this question. Jaldi se we'll keep a target of 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we have to revise everything about pap smear from photos to adequate 
एडिक्वेसी टू नॉर्मल सेल्स माइक्रोस्कोपी सब कुछ टेन मिनट्स में हमें पैप्समेयर का टॉपिक खत्म करना है वी ब्रीच दैट टाइम ब्लॉकिंग वाला स्टेज इन आर प्रेपरेशन सो दिस इज वॉट अ कन्वेंशनल पैप्समेयर लुक्स लाइक वाई इज दिस कन्वेंशनल बिकॉज आई कैन सी एवरी वन वेरी वेरी फेमस आयर्स पैचुला विच हैज बीन कैप्ट ओवर हियर सो टिल द टाइम आयर्स पैचुला इज देयर एंड ब्रश इज देयर इट इज कन्वेंशनल बट वेन आई स्टार्ट सींग दिस काइंड ऑफ अ ब्रश विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ साइटो ब्रूम और अ साइटो ब्रश एंड मैम उसके साथ आई कैन सी देर इज अ कंटेनर इन विच द ब्रश इज बींग ड्रॉप्ड सो देर इज सम लिक्विड इन दिस कंटेनर सो नाउ आई विल वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट लिक्विड बेस्ड साइटोलॉजी लिक्विड बेस्ड साइटोलॉजी इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज गोइंग टू बी श्योर पैथ एंड दी अदर वन इज गोइंग टू बी थिन प्रेप सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच आई आस्ट यू क्या एडवांटेज है लिक्विड बेस्ड साइटोलॉजी हैज सर्टन एडवांटेजेज एंड दैट इज दैट वेन विल यू वॉन्ट टू से दैट आई वॉन्ट टू पुट अ एल बी सी का मशीन वॉट डिड आई से एल बी सी का मशीन दिस इज अ मशीन बेस्ड टेक्निक इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट वन बाय वन केमिकल यू आर हैंड पुटिंग विद योर हैंड इट इज नॉट अ मैनुअल प्रोसेसिंग सो दैट इज नॉट एन एडवांटेज मतलब इट इज मशीन इट इज ऑटोमेटेड ये इसका एडवांटेज है ये मैनुअल नहीं होता सो फर्स्टली द एडवांटेज इज दैट इट विल गिव यू अ क्लीन बैकग्राउंड वाई डू आई नीड अ क्लीन बैकग्राउंड एज अ पैथोलॉजिस्ट बिकॉज जस्ट इमेजिन वेर इज योर सैम्पल बींग टेकन फ्रॉम मैम सर्विक्स सर्विक्स में क्या क्या होता है देर इज मे बी द फीमेल इज ब्लीडिंग कैंसर का केस है मे बी शी इज मैंस्ट्रुएटिंग दैट इज वाई शी इज ब्लीडिंग सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लड एंड मे बी शी हैज सम इन्फेक्शन सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फ्लमेशन एंड इन जनरल देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ लॉट ऑफ म्यूकस सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी ब्लड म्यूकस ना आई वॉन्ट टू सी कैंसर सेल्स आई वॉन्ट टू सी बैक्टीरिया ऑर्गेनिजम्स आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू लुक एट ब्लड एंड म्यूकस सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी रिमूवड एल बी सी विल रिमूव ऑल ऑफ दिस फॉर मी सो नंबर वन दैट इज एन एडवांटेज दिस इज क्लीन बैकग्राउंड सेकेंडली विल दैट मेक इट ईजी फॉर द पैथोलॉजिस्ट आई विल नेवर एवर मिस आउट एनी कैंसर सेल ब्लड हट गया म्यूकस हट गया इन्फ्लमेशन हट गया नाउ आई विल सी रियल कैंसर सेल सो इज इट गोइंग टू हेल्प इन ईज येस इट्स ईजी फॉर मी इट्स अ गुड टेक्निक डज इट ऑल्सो मिनिमलाइज सैम्पल वेस्टेज डिड यू नोटिस वॉट वॉज बींग डन ओवर हियर excess sample wasted no so i'll come to that also dr dizzy look at this why do you think that there is going to be excess sample wastage because what is done in lbc is okay this is the broom cyto broom cyto brush with which the sample is collected do you know after that what do they do they break this brush and they put it into this particular container so imagine from the gynae department to the patho department when it was going as conventional you were never sending this eye spatula to the pathologist what will you what were you doing you were taking this eye spatula you were putting all your sample like a paint brush you were putting it on this slide and rest of the eye spatula you were throwing it away right so only this much sample was going to the pathologist now in liquid based cytology you are sending the entire brush to the pathologist so every cell what if later on uh, pathologist wants to do hpv testing which is so commonly done for cervix right so what if he wants to do hpv testing he can easily do it with the help of this sample so it is not excess wastage it is minimal sample wastage all of these are advantages what is not an advantage is manual processing because it is not manual processing it is a mechanical processing okay so i hope the concept is clear about lbc abhi aur samajh mein aayega when you look at it so you will say okay ma'am if this is used it's conventional if these are being used then it's a liquid based cytology so can you show me how a slide looks like see what did i tell you with eye spatula you were just painting as a painting kar raha tha so look at how dirty the slide is looking a pathologist ko jab ye dekhna hoga under the microscope i will start from here all the way here it's going to take me 10 15 minutes per slide so this is of course going to be more time consuming for a pathologist isn't it whereas look at what happened in what did machines do lbc sure path and thin prep ma'am lbc machines ne kya kara they have put all the samples in a circle so now for the pathologist it is just a small circle that the pathologist has to see not everywhere how do i know sure path thin prep which has a smaller circle s for sure path and s for small circle so the circle of sure path will be 13 mm and the circle that you'll have for thin prep will be 20 mm so if they give you a slide and they say i identify which is sure and thin you should know sure path has a smaller circle of 13 mm thin prep bigger so now you have seen this i hope it is clear ke okay, ma'am ye teen slides hai now let's look at it under the microscope and this was there in november i and i exactly why i have got it one of these pap smears so they will come in gynae and path now come back imagine you are looking at this under the microscope versus you are looking at lbc under the microscope so you will tell me that what is the adequacy criteria who has decided the adequacy 
सी क्राइटेरिया फॉर पैप्स में और वॉट डू वी फॉलो वी फॉलो द बिथेजडा क्लासिफिकेशन बिथेजडा वी फॉलो फॉर एवरी थिंग बिथेजडा वी आर फॉलोइंग नॉट जस्ट फॉर सर्विक्स अभी आई विल आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन ऑन थाइरॉयड ब्रेस्ट सबके लिए द गाइडलाइंस हैव बीन लेड डाउन बाय बिथेजडा ग्रुप ओनली ओके सो बिथेजडा ग्रुप सेज दैट वेदर यू आर लुकिंग एट कन्वेंशनल ये भी आई का क्वेश्चन है और यू आर लुकिंग एट लिक्विड बेस्ड द नंबर ऑफ एंडो सर्वाइकल सेल्स इन बोथ एडिक्वेसी इज टेन यू शुड सी नॉट क्लस्टर्स टेन अलग अलग मतलब यू शुड सी टेन अलग अलग सेल्स इफ यू सी टेन एंडो सर्वाइकल हेयर टेन एंडो सर्वाइकल हेयर ओके बट फॉर स्क्वामस एपिथीलियल सेल्स द क्राइटेरिया इज डिफरेंट विच एवरी वन रिटर्न सो मैम इफ इट्स एट थाउजेंड टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड दैट इज द एडिक्वेसी फॉर कन्वेंशनल एंड फॉर लिक्विड बेस्ड साइटोलॉजी द एडिक्वेसी इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव के सो येस एवरी वन ओके विद दिस एट के टू ट्वेल्व के फॉर कन्वेंशनल फाइव के फॉर एल बी सी दिस यू टोल्ड मी एंडो सर्वाइकल का दोनों जगह इट्स द सेम इट इज गोइंग टू बी टेन 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 सेल्स ओके डोंट मेस अप ऑन दैट दिस इज हाउ यू डिसाइड सो यूल से मैम स्लाइड मुझे मिल गया आई हैव सीन द एडिक्वेसी नाउ क्विकली इन फाइव मिनट्स प्लीज फिनिश ऑफ ऑल द नॉर्मल सेल्स आई हैव गॉट यू ऑल नॉर्मल सेल्स ओवर हियर वी विल स्टार्ट विद स्क्वामस एपिथीलियल सेल्स देन वी विल गो टू एंडो सर्वाइकल सेल्स अभी स्क्वामस एपिथीलियल सेल्स आर ऑफ हाउ मेनी टाइप्स दे आर गोइंग टू बी सुपरफिशियल इंटरमीडिएट पैरा बेजल मतलब मैम अगर ड्रॉ करा तो ऑब्वियसली द टॉप वाले वन आर गोइंग टू बी सुपरफिशियल देन द नेक्स्ट वन आर गोइंग टू बी इंटरमीडिएट एंड जो सबसे नीचे आएगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी पैरा बेजल दैट इज हाउ द एपिथीलियम इज अरेज सुपरफिशियल इफ यू रिमेंबर हैज एवरी थिंग टू डू विथ P P मतलब पिंक वाई डू आई से दैट बिकॉज सुपरफिशियल सेल्स का कलर क्या होगा पिंक सो जूम इन एंड सी वॉट इज द सेल ऑफ सुपरफिशियल का कलर इट इज पिंक एंड लुक एट द न्यूक्लियस मैम इट्स लाइक अ वेरी टाइनी डॉट इट्स जस्ट अ ब्लू कलर डॉट लाइक दैट यू हैव पुट पिकनोटिक सो रिमेंबर P फॉर सुपरफिशियल P फॉर पिंक साइटोप्लाजम P फॉर पिकनोटिक एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न द शेप कोई शेप पूछेगा नहीं बट सिंस इट इज देर द शेप इज ऑल्सो पॉलीगोनल सो इट्स ऑल पीस दैट आर कमिंग together that is how a superficial someone said yes this is a result of what so this pink girls ka favorite color pink this is primarily because of estrogen these are effects of estrogen that come up so now superficial pink pink wale are done now let's come to intermediate you'll say ma'am intermediate ulta if that was pink then intermediate is going to be blue for obvious reasons there are the two favorite colors so intermediate is going to be blue perfect these are intermediate cells this means now i come to para basal if you look at para basal they were sabse niche and ma'am this is how they will look like so para basal will always be in a cluster like this in a small cluster and they will usually be round they will be in a round and in a round in shape and cluster mein hoga jaldi se revise kar lo because then i'll i'll already are you already answered but very good out of superficial intermediate para basal what will you uh, see when it comes to a post menopausal or an atrophic smear so para basal is something which you see during atrophy atrophy basically means that you are dealing with a post menopausal female to ye question to puchne se pehle only all of you have answered very very good now superficial p wala ho gaya ma'am pink wala intermediate blue wala para basal someone said pass pass cluster all good my squamous epithelial cells are done how many did i need if i have conventional then ma'am you need 8000 to 12000 and if you were in your lbc then you needed 5000 of these what about endo cervical cells both of these are endo cervical endo cervical abhi kal parso you have Read detailed sessions of anatomy, and you know that okay, anatomy me, ma'am, histology is important. Endo cervical cells ki lining kya hoti hai? It is a columnar epithelium, and now you know columnar. Matlab this is how it's looking. It's looking like the butterfly on fence appearance. That is number one. Whereas look at the other other one. So for example, if I'm showing you like look at this pencil. If you're looking at it like this, you will say, "Ma'am, it's a tall cell." But if I look at it like drone, 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 if I look at it like these were all these long cells now you're looking at the top angle so that means now it is called as the honeycomb appearance so both of them mean the same you're looking at the cell like this or you're looking at it like this it pretty much is the same it's not going to change right so remember just appearances and fancy names examiner ko acha lagta hai otherwise nothing new so endocervical cells how many did i need i needed only 10 very good dr daisy you are one ahead telepathy working next level i was going to ask you any particular lung 
tumor which shows you butterfly on fence appearance so this is a telepathy which is working really well it will help me finish my session earlier butterfly on fence appearance number one i have told you agar pap smear pucha so it is going to be endocervical cells and the other one if you all have heard of a lepidic carcinoma or lepidic pattern of adenocarcinoma yes ma'am lung very good lepidic adenocarcinoma may be cells are sitting like this in the alveoli so that is also another butterfly on fence appearance very good correlation is happening on track chalo abhi endocervical cells khatam hua we have not finished something that is known as endometrial cells how do endometrial cells look like so this is how whenever i see a 3d ball cluster a 3d ball cluster is going to be endometrial cells when am i expecting endometrial cells to be there in a pap smear ma'am jab bleeding ho raha hoga which part of the menstrual cycle the menstrual phase day 1 to day 5 after day 5 bleeding stop and you will stop seeing these 3d ball clusters but after that also if you continue to see if you say ma'am between day 6 to day 10 mujhe abhi bhi i am seeing these clusters is that normal yes that is normal female will not complain of bleeding फीमेल को ब्लीडिंग नहीं होगा बट ऑन पैप्स मेयर यू विल सी दिस व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज एक्सोडस एक्सोडस इज अ नॉर्मल फाइंडिंग सी ब्लीडिंग हैज स्टॉप्ड बट एंडोमेट्रियल शेडिंग विल कंटिन्यू एंड दैट एंडोमेट्रियल शेडिंग बिटवीन डे 6 टू डे 10 एंड हाउ विल आई आइडेंटिफाई कि मैम सिर्फ नॉर्मल वाला एंडोमेट्रियल पूछा था या ये एक्सोडस स्पेशल पूछा था बिकॉज़ यू कैन सी दैट दिस एरिया इन द सेंटर इज अ लिटिल डेंस एंड दिस एरिया ऑन द साइड इज लाइट व्हेन यू सी दिस टू लेयर्स थिंग हैपनिंग दैट इज एक्सोडस व्हेन यू सी अ regular 3d ball forming that is the usual endometrial cells okay so endometrial also done all are normal apna technique ho gaya normal ho gaya very good now when how can we miss out on what is important and that is clinical conditions so you have some clinical conditions given and you have some pap smear photos given you need to match them out and match aajkal आई एन आई का फेवरेट क्वेश्चन होता जा रहा है टू क्वेश्चन मैच एंड मल्टीपल चॉइस दे लव इट सो मैच द क्लिनिकल कंडीशन विद द अप्रोप्रिएट पैप्स मेयर फाइंडिंग क्विक आंसर ओके सम ऑफ यू आई गो बाय वॉट मेजोरिटी अभी आर सेंग मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू आर सेंग ए एंड सम ऑफ यू हैव ऑल्सो सेट बी ओवर हियर सो सबसे पहले टेल मी वॉट ऑल वर यू थिंकिंग ऑफ वेन आई सेट ग्रीनिश डिस्चार्ज ऑन अ पैप्स मेयर इज दैट्स द हिस्ट्री इन ग्रीनिश डिस्चार्ज आई थिंक ऑफ ट्राइकोमोनाज ओके सो आई एल शो यू दैट पिक्चर आई कीप शोइंग यू एंड वील कीप कमिंग बैक वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ ग्रीनिश डिस्चार्ज दैट मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट स्ट्रॉबेरी एंड यू कैन सी द ब्यूटिफुल गाइनी का दैट punctate reddish points the strawberry cervix ma'am you're thinking of trichomonas trichomonas is going to be either they define it as a pear shaped organism or a kite shaped organism dhoondna bahut mushkil it's something that you will have to pick up only when you get a hint from that history so remember that green color strawberry green discharge with strawberry cervix and now if you look carefully yeah there is something which is looking like a pear over here and there is something which is over here maybe i don't know the shape but i can see some flagella coming out so does trichomonas have a flagella of course it does and i know that this is something i will be teaching you day after tomorrow in microbiology so it has a flagella but if by chance ma'am i am not seeing this i am seeing this mujhe isme on this you i can't zoom in in the paper i can't find trichomonas with my eyes i don't have that ability but can you see these long long threads what is that that is leptothrix because leptothrix and trichomonas are best friends they tend to occur together so leptothrix is going to look like this long strand structure and trichomonas is going to look like this round structure what are they together known as they are known as excellent spaghetti and meatball because now you know ke meatball kya hoga meatball will be this round round trichomonas and spaghetti will be this leptothrix yes where else do we study spaghetti and meatball day after tomorrow we will study spaghetti and meatball is also seen with malassezia furfur if you remember tinea versicolor or malassezia furfur excellent so this is settled ma'am number 1 when you said greenish discharge i had to look for these pear shaped organism so the first one is going to be marked over here now let's move on to the next in the next picture that i've got you what if examiner showed you curdy white no one is messing up on this curdy white sub kkk chalta ma'am when the patient shows me curdy white discharge i think of candida and with candida i am going to think of the shish kebab effect the food that we ruin every time where you will see what candida matlab how is it different from the other fungal species it has pseudo hyphae so you you can very well see that okay there will be these long pseudo hyphae that is what is the center the stick of the kebab and what are the pieces of kebab can anyone tell me 
बिकॉज शीश कबाब पूछ लिया आई एन आई में वॉट इफ लेबलिंग इज आस्ट एंड आई डोंट इवन नो वट शीश कबाब इज मैंने सिर्फ के 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 याद किया था मैम आई हैड लर्न कर्डी कैंडिडा कबाब बट आई डेंट नो वट दैट कबाब इज सो रिमेंबर दैट स्टिक ओवर हेयर इज नथिंग बट द स्यूडो हाइफे एंड वॉट यू हैव एज दीज पीसेज ऑफ कबाब दोज आर द स्कॉमस एपिथीलियल सेल्स ऑल दो सुपरफिशियल इंटरमीडिएट जो पढ़ रहे थे दैट इज वॉट यू हैव फॉर कैंडिडा सो कमिंग बैक हेयर आई हैव कर्डी वाइड डिस्चार्ज दैट इज ऑप्शन थ्री एंड हेयर i have the shish kebab effect now let's move further let's go on to the next one if i say this is the picture you might not get any kind of history with this it will just be pap smear bas itna hoga that's it so then what will you think of you will say okay there is a cell and that cell has a lot of fuzziness matlab what dot 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 hai what is stuck on it those are the coco bacilli yes these are clue cells what are clue cells because i am talking about coco bacilli i am talking about bacterial vaginosis caused by yes gardnerella vaginalis so ma'am ye jo gardnerella vaginalis hota hai that is a coco bacilli so you will see these dot 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 over an epithelial cell that you can see over here that is a clue cell why only over epithelial cell if you look at this picture it's not white the background is also looking very dirty very as if there is coco bacilli so the coco bacilli are going to be in the background also ma'am that is known as filmy bacilli. background so when they show you filmy background and clue cells you think of bacterial vaginosis and all of you know that famous criteria gyne vese lrr ho gaya so i am assuming that amsel criteria you guys have done there are four amsel criteria out of them how many should be minimum satisfied three should be satisfied can you quickly let me know that amsel's criteria matlab something which i say i want a break so that if you teach me gyne then i can take a 30 second break in between my voice will get some rest jaldi se bata do नंबर वन व्हाट इज इट मैम सबसे पहले होता है होमोजीनस डिस्चार्ज इट इज अ ग्रेश वाइट होमोजीनस डिस्चार्ज वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट मैम पीएच के बारे में होता है पीएच ओके मोर देन 4.5 वेरी गुड विफ टेस्ट यस दैट इज व्हाट आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर द विफ टेस्ट आल्सो नोन एज अमाइन टेस्ट अमाइन अमाइनो वाला टेस्ट एंड उसमें क्या ऐड करने से अमाइनो आता है के करने से आता है सो दैट अमोनियकल ओडर यू गेट एन अमोनियकल ओडर वेन यू एड टेन परसेंट के सो दैट अमोनियकल ओडर की वजह से इट इज कॉल्ड एज द अमाइन टेस्ट वेरी गुड एंड फाइन हमारा पैथोलॉजी क्लू सेल्स मैम क्लू सेल्स कितना मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट क्लू सेल्स शुड बी प्रेजेंट सो दैट इज वॉट यू कॉल एज एमसल क्राइटेरिया फोर क्राइटेरिया थ्री प्रेजेंट मिनिमम तो पॉजिटिव हो गया चलो दिस इज ऑल डन थैंक यू फॉर रिवाइजिंग गाइनी नाउ एम लेफ्ट विद द लास्ट वन अगेन विद दिस यू डोंट नीड अ हिस्ट्री बट समटाइम्स एग्जामिनर गिव यू थिंग्स वेर यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू बी नीडिंग दैम ही विल गिव यू देर इज अ फीमेल और यूजिंग इंट्रा यूट्राइन कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव डिवाइस यू नो यू आर डीलिंग विद एक्टिनोमाइसिस तो कैसा दिख रहा है इट्स लुकिंग लाइक अ बॉल ऑफ वुल और अ बॉल ऑफ कॉटन और सम पीपल कॉल इट सन रे आई वॉज वेटिंग फॉर दैट लास्ट नेम वेरी गुड साइंटिस्ट वाला नाम गुप्ता बॉडीज येस ऑल ऑफ यू हैव मैंशन इट करेक्टली सो कमिंग बैक टू माई क्वेश्चन सो अगेन द आई यू सी डी यूज इट हैड टू बी ओवर हियर विद द गुप्ता बॉडीज एंड वॉट एम आई लेफ्ट विद एमसल्स क्राइटेरिया सो एमसल्स क्राइटेरिया हैड टू बी ऑप्शन ए सो ऑल ऑफ दोज हू मार्क दिस ऑफकोर्स गॉट दिट राइट सारे हो गए जल्दी से क्विक रिविजन टेन सेकेंड रिविजन आई कॉल दिस विच यू आर गोइंग टू डू विद दिस पी डी एफ आफ्टर द क्लास स्ट्रॉबेरी सर्विक्स ग्रीन डिस्चार्ज पेयर शेप विद लेप्टोथ्रिक्स ट्राइकोमोनास कर्डी वाइट कैंडिडा कबाब कैंडिडा हो गया नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू क्लू सेल्स एंड फिल्मी बैकग्राउंड बैक्टीरियल वजाइनोसिस एमसल्स क्राइटेरिया कॉटन बॉल वुली बॉल गुप्ता बॉडीज आई यू सी डी यूजर एक्टिनोमाइसिस आखिरी दिन ये बुलेट बुलेट पॉइंट्स याद करना है दैट इज वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू फिनिश ऑफ हु विल टेल मी द लास्ट वन वॉट इज द आंसर टू दिस यू गेट अ पैप स्मेयर देर इज अ फोर्टी एट ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल I am giving you a history for time pass. You can tell me the diagnosis without the history. What is this that you have in front of you? I can see some cells which are looking with a very broad head and a very thin tail like this. Again, broad head and thin tail. Yes, very good. These are tadpole cells, ma'am. I don't need the history. I start seeing tadpole cells in the cervix. I am thinking of squamous cell carcinoma. So good. Your pap smear, guys, is on point. Our pap smear ho gaya. Now let's go on to the next five minutes ka time slot, and that next five minute time slot is gonna be this. Attempt this question and don't read whatever is written. Attempt the question. Which of the following statements is accurate when it comes to obtaining a sufficient sample for efficacy of the thyroid? You know this is an INICT PYQ. You have to solve it. 
you have to get it right i started getting majority answers six follicular cell clusters each with 10 cells perfect so i won't write it again who gave this criteria ma'am bethesda sab kuch bethesda ka hai pap smear fnac sab bethesda mein decide hota hai so six clusters 10 cells each please exam mein ulta nahi karna you have to make sure it is 6 10 so remember there are going to be six clusters and there are 10 cells per cluster 6 10 you have to remember but is there any exception when will i say that nahi, i don't have to follow this 610 even if i'm seeing one cell i will give the diagnosis when does that happen ma'am number one if you are seeing any cancer changes cancer agar five cells bhi dikh hai, you can't tell the patient that i won't reveal to you you have cancer i will only tell you when you give me a sample of 610 no remember cancer cells number one atp malignancy sub same hai. cancer mein gaya. second if there's a lot of inflammation maybe it's a case of inflammation hashimoto's thyroiditis so ma'am, I'm seeing only itis. I'm only seeing a lot of inflammation. I'm not seeing these thyroid cells. Doesn't mean I say that the diagnosis is not possible because it's not showing me 610 while adequacy. I give the diagnosis. And number three, in case of colloid. Up colloid goiter may I will only get watery colloid. I will put the needle in the thyroid on FNC. I will only get golden colloid. So cells 610 is very difficult to get. So these three are my exceptions where I don't have to follow 610 criteria. Cancer inflammation colloid goiter agar ye teen hai to don't follow 610 you can because why i'm saying this 610 ka to pyq has come they will probably ask you a give you a twisted scenario of you know if they're thinking on those lines of extending on that pyt they will say let's give them an exception and then ask them what is the adequacy criteria so then it's not applicable right okay dr neeraj no for others actually fnc may for others there is no adequacy criteria like breast may also bethesda is there right but they haven't defined any particular that itna cell cluster hona chahiye. so till the time that's not defined we don't have to worry for the exam so no other adequacies will be asked okay so yes dr vishnu i have already told you benign versus malignant so i've told you malignancy dikh raha hai agar in thyroid so you are not going to wait for 610 you will tell the clinician that okay i am seeing atypical cells although 610 nahi hai adequate nahi hai but i am seeing atypical cells please take this patient for follow up and uh, you know diagnose him further okay coming to next acha ye question ho gaya khatam agle do questions bata do thyroid cancer which is not diagnosed on fnc usual question million times it has come in neat fmg every exam ma'am follicular carcinoma follicular carcinoma ka diagnosis is not done on fnc why is that so because when i have to differentiate a benign follicular adenoma versus a follicular carcinoma carcinoma requires two diagnoses ma'am invasions the vessel has to be invaded and the capsule has to be invaded that is what surgery and pathology mein tha ke agar follicular carcinoma diagnose karna hai, you have to see that cancer has gone in blood vessel cancer has gone in capsule how can i see blood vessel and capsule on fnac fnac patla sa 27 gauge ka needle i put that needle in the thyroid i won't be able to take out blood vessels i won't be able to take out capsule so when i'm not seeing these things how can i give the diagnosis of this so remember i cannot diagnose follicular cancer so then you say that ma'am what if you get a case on fnac in pathology Aap kya bolte ho? i cannot diagnose no i keep it gray zone i don't call it adenoma i don't call it carcinoma i call it follicular neoplasm and then the surgeon knows ke haan, this is a pitfall of fnac fnac cannot surgeon will never call me back and ask me ke ma'am adenoma lag raha ya carcinoma because surgeon knows that fnac cannot differentiate between them Okay, next, someone's asked me, can Herdel cell carcinoma be diagnosed on FNSE? Again, uh, you tell me, uh, Herdel cell carcinoma or Herdel cell adenoma, they are varieties of what? They are varieties of variants of this follicular only so only by seeing hurdle cells again i cannot differentiate k hurdle cell adenoma hoga ya ye hurdle cell carcinoma hoga i will say hurdle cell neoplasm the story remains the same okay so you cannot differentiate any variant also last question in papillary carcinoma thyroid all i've not shown you that orphan any sabne itna dekh liya hai photo so something beyond it which is the finding of papillary that you do not see on fnc not seen it is that very famous orphan Orphanani, jo hum itna photo dekhte hain, that orphanani is only seen on biopsy. It is not seen on FNSC. Why? Because orphanani, I ma'am, is a formalin artifact. 
only when you place the tissue in formalin will you see orphanani if you don't place it in formalin you will not see it and tell me in FNAC do you place your tissue in formalin you don't so if you've not placed it in formalin you will not see orphanani I how simple as that but ma'am we will see something else Dr. VK has told ke ma'am ye to hume pata hai but we see some other colloid so good I mean sometimes I feel ke ek, I always tell this that one thing is known as is mugging up things and one thing is aisa copy paste karna I feel with R that is what you guys have done you've not mugged it up you have actually beyond gone one level above it and you have imprinted it in your mind you have said acha waise ka waise stamp banao copy karo and use paste kar do to fnac pe papillary carcinoma mein kya dikhta hai you see the very famous chewing gum colloid and whenever I hear such answers the kind of happiness that I have I believe that I cannot express even half of it but it makes me feel so happy that when the answers to subjects like path and micro start coming I feel chalo at least some part of the work that we were set we had set out to do that has been accomplished to some level okay next uh, why, where do we see inclusions in thyroid cancer Dr. Shin Chan is back in class okay yeah so inclusions are seen in papillary carcinoma thyroid only it is seen with Within the nucleus, within the nucleus, of course, that is why you call them nuclear inclusions. Okay. Okay. So now I think we can move on to the next question. FNAC ka questions also done. Everything about thyroid FNAC has been put up over here. Now let's take it up to the next topic. Here we have a 70-year-old patient who has presented with liver metastasis. Immunohistochemistry done to diagnose the unknown primary shows CK7 negative and CK20 positive profile. What is the diagnosis of the primary tumor? Okay, I've got answers as A. Majority of you are saying colon carcinoma. Very good. CK720, ek aur aagya, very very famous question of INI. And before that, you know that technique which is very famous for INI is immunohistochemistry. This to came in the last exam only. I remember teaching this to the students very close to the exam and exact question copy paste aagya tha. Everyone was very very happy. So when I say immunohistochemistry, what is the color that you are expecting that I will be telling you? I will be telling you. A brown color and ma'am brown color pe question aaya tha November I and I mein, that the brown color is due to what chromogen they asked you which color is going to actually give the brown color someone said dab amazing dab is what dab is diaminobenzidine this is the very recent November 23 question dab diaminobenzidine is going to be giving a brown color to immunohistochemistry most of your textbooks don't have it these are very practical in the laboratory kind of questions which INICT wants to ask you. So it's because of DAB. Now before I proceed further into this full 10 minute discussion of IHC, I want to ask you two things. Benzidine. There are two questions that you get specially in your general path. The difference between benzidine and benzene and that is when they ask you that both of them are carcinogenic but which one causes which cancer. So remember benzidine and benzene may say benzene causes acute leukemia like AML and benzidine causes urinary bladder cancer and you are not concerned confusing between this and the exam because benzene benzidine both will be in the options repeating benzidine is going to cause bladder cancer and benzene is going to cause acute leukemia okay with this i just thought of this because abhi humne pada diamino benzidine so as a pathologist i know that when i'm doing immunohistochemistry and i'm going to deal with diamino benzidine so wearing gloves becomes all the more important because i don't want to expose myself to benzidine right so this is basic that is done Ab aage hai. what is this ck720 profile the question that we get when is it positive firstly what is ck ck stands for cytokeratin and they will ask you that which is positive which is negative so sabse pehle, please note i will start with this both positive wala so when i say both ck7 and 20 are positive so b se kya hai b se ho jayega urothelial matlab ma'am b se hamare paas honge bladder cancers and o se kya hoga there is ovarian mucinous carcinoma i don't want you to learn everything it's impossible to learn everything for anyone. So remember, when I'm using particularly some things I'm highlighting, to utna yaad karna. When I say both are positive, B for bladder cancer ho gaya and O for ovarian sare nahi. Kaun sa? Ovarian mucinous carcinoma. Okay, so when is both negative? Mammal CC, CC tumors are negative. CK720 negative ho gaya. CC matlab HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma. Then RCC, renal cell carcinoma. Then SCC lung matlab squam 
squamous cell carcinoma and another SCC lung that is small cell carcinoma repeating RCC, RCC, HCC, SCC, SCC. Some of you have mentioned that the voice is breaking. Is everything okay or is it for everyone or is it just for some students? Yeah, is it fine now? Just let me know so that we can proceed further and both are negative. Meanwhile, ye to is no no BCC can be included over here Dr. Daisy but you know why it's you also need to understand why are you using CK720 CK720 is being used when you don't know kya re tumor aya kaha se hai basal cell carcinoma is not that kind of a tumor basal cell carcinoma shouts out that I am basal cell carcinoma because it happens on the face it's very destructive you call it rodent ulcer so you know pathologist will never reach that phase ke use basal cell carcinoma ke liye CK720 karke pata karna padha hai here there is a problem here the problem is there is a liver metastasis and i don't know where in the body has that liver met come from right bcc doesn't show this kind of mets at all bcc shows local invasion na? general path so local invasion matlab wo face pe grow karega face destruction rodent ulcer got it so every cancer is not needed to be categorized as ck720 chalo yahan tak ho gaya now both positive mein both negative mein ma'am cc 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 are done now let's talk about only one positive so when i'm dealing with only CK7 positive, I will think of majority tumors which are in females and tumors which are going to be above the colon. So, let's see tumors in females. So, breast carcinoma, thyroid cancer also occurs more commonly in female, endometrial, cervical. So, ma'am, all of these are of course female and others if you see, then above the colon. So, of course, lung, salivary gland, pancreatic and bile duct, all of these are above the colon. But please note here comes the twist in the story which I believe abhi ta ke itni bar question aagaya ke kuch alag aega so they will say all female female tumors are CK7 positive but what did I tell you ovarian mucinous tumor kaha pe tha that was both positive me tha first trick where they will you know kind of get you trapped second when I say lung all of you will think in the exam kya cha lung to ma'am ne ka tha above the colon above the colon CK7 positive but did you also notice that I told you lung adenocarcinoma behaves like that because I just told you SCC and SCC of the lung matlab squamous cell carcinoma of the lung and small cell carcinoma of the lung is both negative so these are few traps and I'll put some stars over here which I want that you should refer to when you come in the end thik hai ye wale stars matlab yahan pe examiner will try to catch me so remember the female ones and above the colon ones are 7 positive then you will say ma'am what is 20 positive the below colon one below colon colon 1 mein kya hai colo and rectum and Merkel cell carcinoma so CM20 is how we learn it CM20 means colorectal cancer and Merkel cell cancer these are 20 positive so over here patient was 7 negative 20 positive so that is colorectal cancer and in fact when you go to your surgery theory and you see which is the most common metastasis that comes to the liver the most common is always colon cancer that comes to the liver so clinically also it was fitting in very very well so dr abhijit yes exactly as i said ovarian sun kya se lagega ki acha female tumor hai seven positive hoga but as soon as i say ovarian mucinous it comes in the category of both positive okay this is all settled but now you will tell me a question in sab ke bare mein i have taught you in individual chapters no tumor is new one tumor which we usually don't study which you probably might have not heard of merkel cell carcinoma to merkel cell carcinoma is what kind of a tumor category bata do site bata do that is most important so when i'm talking about merkel cell carcinoma it is a neuroendocrine tumor it is a neuroendocrine tumor answer i've got and usually ma'am it tends to occur in the skin and someone said merkel cell virus excellent yes this we also study when we go to our virology wala chapter so remember it is a skin related tumor and it is neuroendocrine so that is why in the next option the next question i've not this question i'd got in the previous LRR isle mein question attempt nahi karaya I'll read it for you 70 year old lady has come with a red violaceous nodule so therefore there is something that is being there on the skin first hint I have got a skin there is a tumor which is small round blue cell with salt and pepper chromatin as soon as they start using these words 
salt and pepper what does salt and pepper tell you salt and pepper will always tell you neuroendocrine tumor hai. then they have shown you electron microscopy ma'am electron microscopy ke neuroendocrine pe kya milta hai it is going to show you these nsgs neurosecretory granules to ye bhi neuroendocrine tumor hai immunohistochemistry ke beech mein kyun pad rahe hain because what are the immunohistochemical markers for neuroendocrine tumors synaptophysin and chromogranin so this is a fully neuroendocrine tumor occurring in the skin i think of merkel cell carcinoma and as soon as i think of merkel cell i say ck7 negative 20 positive no this is not for fmg exam uh, this ck27 profile nahi hai so coming back ab ye pura table fill up kar do because this will come as a you know a full coverage of neuroendocrine tumors occurring everywhere in the body so you will say first ma'am first hint will be neuroendocrine tumor ka can you see dark and light dark and light what kind of chromatin will be there in the nucleus every neuroendocrine tumor in the body will have salt and pepper nucleus hint number one in the paper second ma'am if they show me a black and white electron microscopy photo then what will i see in every neuroendocrine tumor i will see nsgs neurosecretory granules if they ask me what is the immunohistochemistry who will now tell me the full immunohistochemical profile of every neuroendocrine tumor synaptophysin chromogranin to likha tha how did we learn it we learnt it as in 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 synaptophysin chromogranin bombesin in 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 and teen short form nsc cd56 and cd57 so now you will say that ma'am dunia ka koi bhi neuroendocrine tumor hoga electron microscopy light microscopy and ihc all of that is going to be the same now tell me meanwhile i had seen everyone had started asking answering which is the neuroendocrine tumor in the thyroid it is medullary carcinoma which is it in the lungs the most common small cell carcinoma lung is neuroendocrine that is why small cell carcinoma ka table dekho notes mein all these markers are written next anything that is common to lungs and git a tumor which is also neuroendocrine carcinoid tumor excellent adrenal ka to ma'am chodo pata hi hai pheochromocytoma and skin mein you have told us merkel cell carcinoma right okay meanwhile someone had mentioned so ye topic to khatam and pichla question is also khatam that if it is merkel cell it is cm20 mein aata hai it is ck20 so now your ck720 profile is done i will take a quick small test and that test is that if I say you are dealing with a, you know, an ovarian mucinous tumor, ovarian mucinous tumor, what is your last question? I will know if you've been listening or not. What is this? Ovarian, female. Is it 7 positive, 20 positive, both positive, both negative? What is that going to be? So you will say, ma'am, ovarian, female wale, vese to 7 positive hote hai. But as soon as you say mucin, mucin slips into where? It slips into the both positive wala category. Now I know all of you were listening. No one slept off. Very good. Meanwhile, someone told me, ma'am, CD56 to kahi aur bhi pada tha. Very good. All of you are, now you don't need me. You've reached that stage in pathology where your mind is integrated things for yourself you are doing not inter subject you are doing intra subject integration where you're integrating one chapter with another when you've reached intra subject integration this means you don't need me thereafter and i'm so happy that you don't where do you study cd 56 yes cd 16 56 and INICT ke le kor, 94 that is going to be NK cell 16, 56 and NK cell and 94 very very famous so we've always learned this for NK why are we not studying the CD markers today because the aaj ka topic nahi hai tomorrow we have to do that deadly flow cytometry so we have to make that entire CD marker table we will do it okay so this is an aberrant Dr. Neeraj it's an aberrant expression that neuroendocrine tumors can show right okay so this is also done finally IHC ke question ko thoda sa aage badhate hain. Let's take it up into some other tumor. What could be the likely diagnosis of a 5 year old child who has proptosis in one eye and tests positive for Desmin in a tumor? Okay, 1656, 94, I know, sab ne mnemonic bata diya. You know it, I'm not repeating the mnemonic because waaj ka topic nahi hai, to wo mnemonic kal ke liye save karenge, right? Proptosis, in one eye, tests positive for Desmin in a tumor. As soon as I use the word Desmin in the exam, it's a PYT for every exam, FMG, NEET, INI. Desmin matlab ma'am, examiner wants to tell me something about skeletal muscle. Yahan pe skeletal muscle wali jo cheez hai, that is going to be embryo rhabdomyosarcoma now i also want to tell you that ewing sarcoma can also show you 
um, this uh, Desmond positivity sometimes because now when you will go into your Q bank and you will see you will say ma'am explanation mein to likha tha Ewing's can also show Desmond positivity but then I had to come back and I had to look at a little bit about the clinical Ewing's ek to 5 year old mein nahi Ewing's is more of adolescent so maybe I would have got a 14, 15, 16, 17 year old boy and Ewing's sarcoma would have possibly come to me as what kind of a tumor as a diaphyseal tumor ma'am so wo bone tumor ka kuch history ho and it would have occurred in adolescent so I would not go for Ewing's I would go for embryonal RMS anything to do with skeletal muscle so before I take it up further and I teach you this in a lot of detail all of you will fill in the blanks for this wo sare immunohistochemical markers that you have to know quickly let me know what is it for carcinoma ma'am carcinoma ke liye c for c c for c matlab carcinoma ke liye positivity is cytokeratin tabhi to did you notice in that entire table of cytokeratin 7 and 20 these were all carcinomas kahin bhi koi sarcoma dikha tha nahi ma'am all carcinomas were there because cytokeratin is going to be for carcinomas then what is going to be for these poor sarcomas for sarcomas that is vimentin ab agla ye nahi simple question hi aayega sarcoma vimentin this will be asked which type of sarcoma both of these are sarcomas both of these are myosarcomas matlab muscle sarcomas one is leomyosarcoma leomyo means it is a smooth muscle ka sarcoma and one is rhabdomyosarcoma that is skeletal muscle ka sarcoma very good so remember ma'am sarcoma tha that is why both of them are going to be sarcoma sarcoma you said why maintain to sab mein why maintain to positive hoga smooth muscle mein obviously smooth muscle actin will be positive as common sense says and for skeletal muscle it is going to be desmin and myo d1 okay so desmin b tha and now i have added myo d1 in your list so whenever you have desmin written think of skeletal muscle think of embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma yaha ta clear hua this is a very desmin inka favorite previous year topic hai. it is going to be for skeletal muscle now let's talk about lch these are some additional one-liners i've got you from ihc point of view very good lch ka ma'am immunohistochemistry is very long the most you know the one that we always remember is cd1a because cd1a doesn't come anywhere else the other one is cd207 very good is ka lch ka full form kya hai langerhans cell histiocytosis right so what is the other name of cd207 cd207 is known as langerin cd207 is known as as langerin so cd1 a cd207 then you have hla dr and s100 this unfortunately you cannot skip you will have to learn all four because question has come on all four jaldi se close your eyes don't look at the textbook don't look at this slide and answer it yourself cd markers mein do hai cd1 a and cd207 and other than that hla dr and s100 but is this the gold standard no it is not the gold standard for lch lch ka gold standard standard IHC nahi hota. LCH ka gold standard I have given you over here because I won't teach you LCH after this so I thought khatam karo. What is this gold standard? It is electron microscopy and what is it showing me? I can see the very famous tennis racket appearance. Ye kya hai tennis racket? These are the Burbeck granules. Remember the Burbeck granules are going to look like this tennis racket. That is the gold standard for LCH. Very very important. Okay, someone said, Dr. Shikha said, ma'am, S100 to melanin mein bhi padha tha. S100, I always say, S100 is positive in 100 things. Sab se non-specific cheez hai. Kabhi bhi S100 ho, okay kar dena. S100 is positive in nerves also, in cartilage also, in like you said, melanin also, over here in LCH also. So, S100 is positive in 100 things. Don't give it too much of importance. How do I know it? Because this, you know, this unfortunately was the marker on which I did a thesis. And that is how with personal experience I have known that I had to do my thesis only on Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease which all of you know ganglion cells, A ganglionosis. So I thought I will have S100 in my theory and in my thesis and I will have to put it on only one tissue. And then everything on this planet used to come positive. So since those days I've been telling everyone that from personal experience S100 ko kahi bhi copy paste kar do S100 comes positive everywhere. Okay coming to the next lymphoma. L for L. Lymphoma is going to be LCA or CD45 positive. What is LCA? LCA stands 
for leukocyte common antigen LCA. This you might not want to know the full form, but just because examiner writes leukocyte common antigen, you shouldn't feel that I don't know. Leukocyte common antigen is LCA or CD45 and melanoma like you said, HMB45, but add something. Two more things. One, let's write what you were saying. Ma'am, I'm 100. So, every place copy paste. Kar do. Other than that, Milan. Melan A is also going to be positive in melanoma. So, MMM, melanoma ka HMB45, Melan A, ma'am, lymphoma ka LL, that is LCA, carcinoma ka CC, that is cytokeratin. So, alag se jo yaad kara, that is only sarcoma, that is why mentin. Why did I tell you? Because these four have come as match the following in your PYQ, so easy. L, L, M, M, C, C. Only thing that you are left with is sarcoma is going to be vimentin positive. IHC is done, but one IHC is pending. I have not done the IHC of lung tumors. Can we, if I give you the lung cancer, can you give me the IHC so that tomorrow I don't have to teach you lung cancer again? Apna kaam thoda sa easy kar lete hain. So ma'am, when they say squamous cell carcinoma, how did you identify this is a squamous cell carcinoma? Because I got to see keratin pearls. Yes, I got to see keratin pearls. As soon as I see a tumor with these PP pearls, the PP wale markers, P40, P63 positive. Some of you are saying dopa oxidase yeah yeah that is also there uh, abhi i did not tell you because abhi we are talking about see you answered it correct but you answered it in the wrong topic because ihc ka baat ho na, immunohistochemistry if you say that ma'am for melanin dopa oxidase hai to theek hai but dopa oxidase is not an immunohistochemistry it's an enzyme dopa oxidase so if i would have asked you that for melanoma can you tell me some enzymatic method which can also come positive then you would have answered it as dopa oxidase Deko, so what if in the exam your options are a b c d and they ask you which of these are immunohistochemical stains so you will say oh, all four no dopa oxidase as the name suggests you is an enzyme histochemical stain okay so dhyan dena us par coming back when i say keratin pearls ma'am keratin pearls mein pp wala p40 positive p63 positive and p40 kya hai p40 is said to be the best and that's a question that you got in inict adenocarcinoma how did you identify adenocarcinoma because i could see the presence of glands right and what is this brown color stain ma'am brown you had told us dab ki wajah se brown is immunohistochemistry so for adenocarcinoma you had told us all the aa and 1 wale markers very good napsin a TTF1, MUC1, so all the AA and 1 wale markers, very good. Small cell carcinoma, I will not answer why because abhi padaya. Small cell carcinoma is a neuroendocrine tumor. So, usme kya ra tha, ma'am? In, 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 synaptophysin, chromogranin, bombicin, and there were three short forms NSC, CD56, CD57. So, your life becomes easy na. If you know kya chahi neuroendocrine tumor hai, there are some things I will copy paste. But meanwhile, why did I know this is small cell carcinoma of the lung? What is this beautiful picture that we are seeing over here? So, that beautiful picture is the azopardi effect. Achha, to sabko pata hai. Now, these days, there is a new trend that has come up examiner has understood that these people have mugged up this PDF from telegram that they've downloaded all of them have those PDFs of all images in one so they have mugged up images and sometimes they don't know ke kya dekha but so no ne dekha koi kuch blue blue aise padha hoga wo aise padhi lung hoga to small set but now they give you image based questions without images very ironical to say that but they give you IBQ without an image means they will not show this they will say there is a lung biopsy showing you blue blood vessels so you should know what is azopardi effect ma'am it's actually a blood vessel which is becoming bluish so remember the ironical situation that you will get stuck in in the exam is an ibq without an image they started giving you descriptions because they want to actually see that whether you are able to interpret these photos do you know isme dikh kya raha hai sach mein or have you just just mugged it ke kuch aisa gola tha yahan pe kuch bana tha star tha have you done that or have you actually put little bit of logic into it okay blue blood vessels all done so very good i've put a tick mark on your behalf you have told me all the tumors of the lung very nicely markers can you tell me one recent marker for mesothelioma 
for mesothelioma that is a new marker they are asking you that is cal retinin okay cal retinin positive ye abhi recent question don't say examiner is also watching this lecture okay so in case examiner is watching to ab jo jo topic sabse easy lagta hai na now let's start saying let's start calling everything very difficult which you want should come in the exam let's play reverse psychology okay okay so now i've said this i'll make sure after the live this is edited out so that examiner tak na jaye acha someone in between had put up a doubt that ma'am this blue blood vessel is it because of dna or rna how many of you are following on the instagram page we are posting that abcd wala stains a and b alphabet has been posted on insta and youtube both C and D will also come. So Dr. Daisy has already told my question of D. So Dr. Daisy has a doubt. कि मैम ये जो blue color का blood vessel है ये blue क्यों है? Is it DNA or RNA? So you tell me ना small cell cancer. You are dealing with a cancer. Cancer cells. DNA होता है nucleus में क्या होता है? DNA होता है. So that blue blood vessel is of course gonna be DNA. Just in case you have a doubt कि नहीं मैम मुझे तो ये RNA लग रहा है. Like Dr. Daisy said मैम I don't believe this. मुझे लगता है this is RNA. I'll say prove it. What is the stain for DNA guys? the stain for dna is the fuel gen stain another ini ct question that could be coming up your way so we should be thanking dr daisy for reminding us that is dna dna ka kya stain fuel gen kaise yaad rakhoge ma'am dna to generations mein chalta hai dna is the fuel for our generations so dna ka stain fuel gen stain fuel for our generations so now this comes positive so i'm very sure ke ye jo blue blue color hai ye cancer ka dna that has come up over here okay all of few cancers done doubts done mesothelioma ke liye calretinin also done new marker calretinin very important question all these are settled can i move forward to the next question for all of you there is a 3 year old boy or a girl so girl obviously with a vaginal mass as shown below okay so this is one picture and biopsy and histopath assessment from the same reveal some second picture which of the following immunohistochemical markers will aid in the diagnosis of this condition answer milna shuru hua hai a why maintain and desmin answer ke sath sath diagnosis bhi batate jao what did you think for what did you think for over here so you will say that ma'am this looks like a bunch of grapes and especially when they give me this kind of a mucosal site so don't feel it will always be a female with a vaginal mass no this is you say rhabdomyoma nahi see look at the picture this is not looking like a benign tumor usko malignant kar do rhabdomyo sarcoma and look at the age so i will call it embryonal rhabdomyo sarcoma and the other name for embryonal rms we look at a slide and i'll come back to the picture again when i say embryonal rms or rhabdomyosarcoma ma'am it is known as sarcoma botryoids what is botryoids botryoids looks like a bunch of grapes botryoids bunch of grapes it looks like that this is staphylococcus aureus dikhta hai staphylococcus aureus kya disease karata hai jiska naam hai botryo something that you get in the exam botryomycosis to ma'am wo staphylococcus aureus ki tarah bunch of grapes ki tarah same over here sarcoma botryoids bunch of grapes but actually actually what is it it's a cancer embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma what does it show you you must have seen this question question that comes in previous year papers cambium layer is seen in cambium layer is seen in embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma sarcoma botryoids to ab ibq aayega minus i that is minus image so they will describe cambium layer now you can't do ratta and go what is cambium layer you can very well visualize over here jo bhi cells hain all the cells have decided that we will sit at one place and can i say this part of it on the top is very cellular and niche niche as you go you are seeing more of white white spaces so you will see that there is going to be a hypocellular area so where are all the cells sitting on the top that cellular layer is known as cambium layer remember the cellular part is called cambium layer and niche 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 as you will come there will be more of white spaces so you will say okay let's zoom in to any one cell and koi bhi ek cell ko aisa zoom in karke dekhte hain to they are looking very long they are looking very very long just like this just like a strap or a tennis racket appearance yes very good strap cells which all of you called as tennis racket abhi abhi to ma'am hum ek tennis racket karke aaye the abhi abhi we had done a tennis racket so what is that tennis racket that we did right now that was langerhans cell histiocytosis another tennis racket i have told you that you see in embryonal rms let me finish this question then i will come to all tennis rackets so one thing is clear kya kya dikha this is sarcoma botryoids what i see over here that's the cambium layer then what i see over here are the tennis racket cell pakka ma'am rhabdo 
endomyosarcoma you said every sarcoma on this planet will be vimentin positive and rhabdo skeletal muscle ke liye you had said desmin positive that is how i make the diagnosis if it would have been a leomyosarcoma to kya option select karte leomyosarcoma to leomyo mein you will say that ma'am sarcoma ke liye to vimentin leo means smooth muscle then i would have selected option d and when will you select option c in life CD99. What is the other name of CD99? CD99 is also known as MIC2. So remember that story of 99-year-old granny. Konsa ovarian tumor tha 99-year-old granny. Granny for granulosa cell tumor. It occurs in old women. Granulosa cell tumor me CD99 is positive. And ma'am, other name for CD99 is MIC2. When I write MIC2, we always learn it as Yes, Ewing's. How did we learn this? Because Ewing's sarcoma is in which age? Ma'am, Ewing's sarcoma is more of a between say a 12 to 17 wala jo age group aata hai. That is where Ewing's sarcoma occurs. So, it is a little bit It is not going to be in adults. It is going to be in that adolescent stage. So, we had learnt it as Bacho ka sabse famous pet name hamari country mein is going to be Mithu. So, Mithu is how we learn as Mithu because that occurs in that bone tumor which is occurring in that younger age group. And CD9 99 we call as 99 year old granny but ultimately in the exam both of them are the same okay but somehow and INI aims aims me to you pick up last if you ever do an analysis of 10 year papers of aims 8 out of 10 will show you this one liner question mic 2 is a marker of which bone tumor they are obsessed they don't love it they are obsessed with it dangerous well obsession and mic 2 is a marker of Ewing sarcoma also known as CD 99 it's the same thing okay चलो नाउ कमिंग बैक अभी ऑल ऑफ यू टोल मी टेनिस रैकेट तो जल्दी से सारे टेनिस रैकेट्स बता दो पैथोलॉजी इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोपी एंड इवन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो व्हेन आई सेड टेनिस रैकेट सेल्स ऑल ऑफ यू मेड एम्ब्रियोनल रैब्डोमायोसार्कोमा when I said tennis racket granules on electron microscopy, you said, oh, these were the Burbeck granules. And then we have Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Ma'am, parasitology mein poocha to hamara favorite, the old man, Dadaji story, Giardia lamblia. And if they ask me from bacteriology, now comes the point. All of you are right. It is Clostridium. Clostridium kya? Tetna ya tertium? Clostridium. Tertium, not many of you said tetna. Ye har bar doubt aata hai and har bar hum confirm karte hai. Clostridium tetnae looks somewhat like this but it is not tennis racket. It is said to be drumstick appearance. Clostridium tertium, I have told you so many times, T-E-R, tennis racket. Clostridium tertium is tennis racket. Clostridium tetnae will have the drumstick appearance. These are all your tennis rackets that you have for this particular chapter so this is also settled i think we can move forward now yes okay so how can i finish ihc without breast i have to which of the following her two immunohistochemical studies will be further evaluated using fish fluorescent in situ hybridization so we ihc bhi pad lenge, fish bhi pad lenge, two in one advantage so i have options a b c d and i have if you look carefully there are some gradings written zero one plus two plus 3 plus. All of you have put it as a answer that everyone has got right. Ma'am, 2 plus. So, sabse pehle, when I say her 2, examiner these days has become smart. He knows they know her 2 pada, her 2 ke left right kuch nahi pada because they are overconfident about her 2. So, he will give you the other name of her 2 that is EGFR 2. EGFR 1 nahi hota. This I have taught you in your Neoplasia chapter. Where do you see EGFR 1? I have always told you 1 and 2 mein nahi confuse hona. 1 for A that is adenocarcinoma lung mein dekhoge EGFR 1. Whereas EGFR 2 is nothing but HER2 new. So instead of e HER2, if he writes ke breast biopsy mein aap EGFR 2 kar rahe ho, don't get confused. It's the same thing. So remember HER2, what happens in breast cancer? Ma'am, in breast cancer, HER2 is amplified in whenever I'm talking about, not in all, but in some cancers, HER2 is amplified. So, I will do immunohistochemistry. On immunohistochemistry, look at this 0. Q0 bola, koi brown color nahi hai. So, ma'am, if I get 0, then is this going to be positive or negative? Of course, it's going to be negative. If I get 1 plus, like thoda thoda brown, that is also going to be negative. 0 and 1 plus on immunohistochemistry, pathologist ignores, clinician ignores, that is not her to amplification patient ko treatment nahi dena her to ka 
if it is like this 3 plus then I am very confident it is pakka going to be positive pakka positive means I will put the patient on anti, anti HER2 therapy that is trastuzumab so that is very good for me for the patient also I am very happy that I have a targeted therapy but when it comes out to be 2 plus on IHC like in this case 2 plus then I have a question mark it is equivocal equivocal case ke liye kya karoge? you will have to use a gold standard and for equivocal cases we go in for fish so now I will show you the next picture but ye wala ho gaya that yaan pucha tha, which of these is going to be a candidate for fish so you know 2 plus on IHC is a candidate for fish and this is how the picture of fish is going to look like before I start itna to ab you come for LRR so by now this much you know ke man fish is fluorescent in situ hybridization so now I will ask you in what phase is fluorescent in situ hybridization done please don't say metaphase because all of you have learnt only one na ke metaphase ek apna organic answer har cheez mein aajata hai metaphase is the answer that you have for metaphase is the answer that you have for karyotyping for fish it is not metaphase for fish it is interphase very good so remember interphase mein cells ko hum analyze karenge and if you look at this this color coding in fish make it a point color coding is not your headache never ever ghar pe bed ke se ratna mat green color was this red color was this no examiner's responsibility he will have to give you color coding so as you said ma'am examiner bhi hamara session dekh raha hai so i I am requesting to the examiner that कहीं से photo को crop मत करना. This color coding has to be given to the students. Otherwise, they cannot give the diagnosis. So, what has examiner told you? Examiner told you that her two gene, her two gene has been given what color? It has been given a red color. And what is CEP17? Ma'am, CEP17 is nothing but chromosome 17 because her two is present on chromosome 17. Okay, so chromosome 17 में क्या है? And that is green color, right? So all of you strongly believe कि मतलब मान के बैठे होके examiner to humara ye session dekhi raha hai so we should keep requesting the examiner that give us clear photos please don't keep the photos blurred please keep good quality photos so we can you can thoda bahut buttering we can do examiner is very nice to karte rehte hai maybe the real uh, you know the real whatever message we want to give out actually reaches to the examiner to bahut very nice we love the papers that you set we really like the kind of questions you give us okay so now what has the examiner told us over here red color red color has been given to her to new gene then sep 17 sep 17 matlab chromosome 17 now go logically in the paper if you get this wrong you got your 1 2 3 ka maths basic wrong kar hai. so now if you look at a normal cell how many chromosome 17s are you expecting green color wala ma'am one from mother one from father to yaha pe ek hai yaha pe ek hai chromosome 17 normal in this also one from mother one from father one from mother one from father first i make sure that chromosome 17s are on place they are on place now I look for what? I look for her to new. Now if there are two chromosomes, I will expect two her two genes. So this is normal. Hai. But over here, ma'am, I am getting five signals. I am getting five her two. Is it amplified? Yes, it is. And here, I can't even count. There are some 10, 20 her twos. So when do I say her two is amplified? When remember what is the there is a particular formula one little tiny formula when her 2 divided by sep 17 is going to be more than 2.2 in case you feel this is so this is so so difficult very simple remember her 2 yahan pe her 2 kitne the you said ma'am her 2 are five signals five and sep 17 17 to do hi hoga so what is it going to be the total is 2.5 do you want to call this case of amplification yes this is amplification more than 2.2 anything is amplification yaha pe fir se match karo mere saath how many her2 signals can you see red color wale ma'am i can see let's say 10 i can see 10 her2 signals and how many chromosome 17s i can see two chromosome 17 so what is going to be the total formula it's going to come out to be 5 to simple exam mein her2 divided by 2 karna hai kyunki chromosome 17 to 2 hi rahega her2 divided by 2 and i'm going to get my answer so remember now on immunohistochemistry this patient had got what value patient had got 2 plus ma'am equivocal tha to humne kara fish now fish pe if the value comes out to be more than 2.2 what will you do you will say acha amplified hai put this patient on trastuzumab if it comes out to be less than 2.2 then you consider it under negative that is how easy as it works i hope that is okay iske sath humne ek fish bhi 
नहीं कर लिया मैम फिश कर लिया एंड नाउ दैट यू एंटर्ड इन टू जेनेटिक्स तो बाकी सब भी फटाफट जेनेटिक्स कर लेते हैं इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लेट्स कीप अ टारगेट वी विल फिनिश ऑफ एवरी थिंग फॉर जेनेटिक्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सम बेबी क्वेश्चन सम क्वेश्चन विच आर आर कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्टर्स उसके बिना तो हाउ विल माई लाइफ प्रोसीड फॉर राइट एंड वीव गॉट पास्ट स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो कमिंग अप एंड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम दैट इज सो नाइस इन बिटवीन ओके वेरी सिंपल मैम ये आया अच्छा कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्टर आया वॉट इज नार्प नार्प इज अ माइटोकॉन्ड्रल फंक्शन डिजीज एग्जामिनर ये नहीं पूछेगा दिस इज अ वेरी पी वाई क्यू है बट आई एम नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट नाउ वट इज दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बट यू टोल्ड मी वेरी गुड सो वॉट इज नार्प फर्स्ट यू विल टेल मी इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ फुल फॉर्म इन फैक्ट आई गॉट यू अ फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ऑल द माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डिसऑर्डर्स बिफोर दैट मुझे नार्प वाला जो अभी बताया नार्प का फुल फॉर्म बता दो सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी न्यूरोजेनिक एटेक्जिया ओके वन इज गोइंग टू बी पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू हैव न्यूरोपैथी पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू हैव एटेक्सिया एंड मैम इन द आईज द पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू हैव रेटिनाइटिस पिगमेंटोसा इन आईज इट इज रेटिनाइटिस पिगमेंटोसा और क्या होता है व्हाट इज मेल आज दिस हैव नॉट हिडन बिकॉज आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू नो इट जल्दी से पढ़ लो दीज आर ऑल माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डिजीजेस देन आई टेल यू द ट्विस्ट इन द स्टोरी व्हाट इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डिजीजेस मेल आज मैम इट इज अ केस ऑफ एनसेफिलोपैथी एल ए मतलब लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस एंड स्ट्रोक this we all know why do we all know this because the examiner asks you which is the most common mitochondrial disorder it is going to be melas next if the examiner asks you which is the most common mitochondrial myopathy so that is going to be cpeo chronic progressive external ophthalmoplegia that's a muscle related mitochondrial disorder so that's the most common mitochondrial myopathy then ma'am ek ophtha mein aur hota hai lons leber hereditary optic neuropathy if you are realizing there is so so much of ophthal that is being affected in mitochondrial diseases in cpeo it was ophthalmoplegia in lon it is hereditary optic neuropathy in narp it was retinitis pigmentosa so these are the diseases which you do not see every day it's not a cold cough typhoid jo har roz ek patient dikh jayega this is these are rare set of disorders apart from that leak pearson and kern side syndrome to so, ma'am jo bhi maine patient aaj tak nahi dekha wo ho jata hai mitochondrial disease but now the abhi bhi i am in my base Basic questions. Okay, so what is mitochondrial DNA or mitochondrial disease? So this is something which they will uh, give you in the form of a pedigree, and all of you already know it. Who gives us the mitochondria? It's the mother. So it's going to be mother to all, father to. नन यहाँ तक तो सिचुएशन वॉज अ रीकैप मैम ऑल दिस आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ यू नो इट बाई हार्ट बिकॉज नाउ आई विल टीच यू समथिंग फ्रॉम मेडिसिन एंड आई एन आई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एसोसिएटेड विद अ डिलीशन इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डी एन ए एक्सेप्ट ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एसोसिएटेड विद अ डिलीशन इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डी एन ए एक्सेप्ट यस so all of them are mitochondrial disorders you agree you will just tell me which of them is not a deletion not a deletion so okay most of you have said a acha first i want to ask you is it uh, a tukka that all of you have done or do you genuinely know or have read about it or you've just gone by gut feeling wala question because some are saying a some are saying b c to no one wants to answer for some reason and only one of you said d so let me tell you over here that when i'm talking about which are the ones that occur with deletion actually jab hum kehte hai na that someone has a mitochondrial dna because i have also not taught you this in your rr not not even in your main videos this is something which i'm only kept for advanced information for ini cet which is very very recent and that is why i'm teaching it to you today to nahi aata to sabse pehle you are not to blame because kahi hai hi nahi to kahan se aayega ma'am these questions are some you know some questions which you only get to read one month before the exam that's it when i say mitochondrial dna and i say there is a disease in mitochondrial dna most of the times what happens is a point mutation most commonly when i say mitochondrial dna ka problem ho raha hai mother is giving the disease it is a point mutation where do i see deletions remember deletions are seen in pearson syndrome CPEO and Kern's Sayer syndrome these tend to show you deletion so i have learnt it as sirf abhi ek mahine ke liye ne monik yaad kar lo don't remember it for neat fmg no only till i n i c t you learn it and then you very gracefully forget it remember polycystic kidney disease kuch pada hai na bas wo yaad kar lo pearson's cpeo kern sayer these are deletion repeating pearson cpeo 
कर्न सायर दीज आर गोइंग टू बी दी ओनली डिलीशन रेस्ट एवरीथिंग एल्स सो दैट वन स्टूडेंट हु हैड मार्क्ड मेलास यू आर राइट बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डिजीजेज लाइक मेलास दे आर गोइंग टू बी पॉइंट म्यूटेशन यहाँ एक्सेप्ट पूछा था जल्दी से क्विक टेन सेकेंड रिविजन एंड वी स्किप दिस ये बस पढ़ के निकाल के खत्म करना है मे बी इट इज समथिंग बिकॉज दीज डेज इन एम्स दे आर डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज ऑन माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डिजीजेज एंड एम्स आई एन आई हैज दिस हैबिट वेन दे डू अ लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दे टेन टू गिव स्निप Pets out of it in the upcoming exam also. So, jaldi Pearson, then CPEO, then Kern Sayer, PCKD. Ma'am, वो होता है deletion. बाकी कुछ भी लिखा होगा. That is going to be point mutation. खत्म करो. Now not needed. But what is this question for I and I again? This is also mitochondrial disease. किसी ने नहीं बोला कि ma'am this was not written in the list. What is MERF? First tell me the full form. It is going to be known as myoclonic epilepsy. Patient has very very important these things you would have to know it is known as patient has myoclonus very good epilepsy to ye to clinical ho gaya na epilepsy ka patient hai what happens in pathology in this mitochondrial disease red ragged fibers not rough ragged red ragged fibers red hi yaad karo kyun because photo aayega ye photo aayega and can you see that for example if this is a muscle over here if this is a muscle i can see some red ragged fibers some irregular reddish fibers so this for muscle remember for muscle the stain that has been used is going to be the gomori trichrome stain is the gomori trichrome stain and i can see the rrf i can see the red ragged fibers tabhi iska naam aisa banaya gaya but de la ville electron microscopy the reason that i'm showing this today is because em photos are i and i favorite and it's a very unfortunate thing that i shouldn't be saying this but i'm preparing you well in advance i will teach you lots of electron microscopies today and tomorrow there will be two questions in the exam one question you will be able to attempt very very easily out of em the second question of em will be such which has been put every year that no student can attempt to so, kabhi bhi electron microscopy ke liye in your brain don't take a 100% strike rate every ini exam one new random useless electron microscopy photo is given sometimes you can solve it from the question and do a blank and guess sometimes you cannot so be prepared you will get two em photos one will be you know one will be something that how much ever you study bas utna hi kar paoge you study for 10 more days also only on em you do thesis then also that one question you will not be able to attempt so be very prepared for that i'm giving you the ground reality of electron microscopy examiner noting down the points okay so no no examiner is nice and he's given us good em photos in the past and we believe that the examiner is going to give us nice em photos. photos um yeah so some of you remember the acanthamoeba picture so you are prepared right by now you know that a kaisa photo aayega jo kisi ko bhi nahi aata hoga so no point crying over that one image which obviously every year has to be new and has to be like that but nahi examiner acha hai chalo wapas aao this is the photo that will come and that i know what does this myoclonic epilepsy with red ragged fibers if i look at it under the microscope how do the mitochondria look like number one this is that phonographic record appearance that is number one and second this is how the mitochondria are parked just like how parking is done specially in delhi that is anywhere and everywhere parking lot appearance so remember phonographic रिकॉर्ड एंड पार्किंग लॉट अपियरेंस पूछा दैट इज सीन इन मर्फ एंड मर्फ का फुल फॉर्म रेड रेगेड फाइबर दैट इज देर नो दिस मर्फ इज नॉट फॉर एफ एम जी डॉक्टर शिवानी बट ऑल दी अदर डिसऑर्डर दट आई टोल्ड यू ये सारे एफ एम जी में इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डिजीज मदर टू ऑल फादर टू नन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो मर्फ हो गया माइटोकॉन्ड्रल डिजीज हो गया कैन वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज येस Okay, let's start. Lengthy question. I'll read it out for you. Fifteen-year-old male presents with a typical facial profile of long face, large mandible, large ears. Mother gives a history of dropping out of school due to poor grades. Physical examination: the testicular size is enlarged. You've made your diagnosis. Genetic testing is available, and they have shown that there is one reported in one of the distant cousins also has something like this. So you say, "Okay, ma'am, this is something which we have not studied in starting, and we have not studied in starting, and we have not studied in starting." बीच में देखा दिस इज समथिंग टू डू विद एक्स क्रोमोजोम एंड एक्स क्रोमोजोम में ऐसा लग रहा है दैट एक्स क्रोमोजोम इज ब्रोकन वी स्टार्टेड मेकिंग अ डायग्नोसिस ऑफ व्हाट वेरी गुड fragile x syndrome so this question i got from your video lectures i didn't want that you should feel that are humne itna rr padha aise stamp karke brain mein lagaya and i'm not seeing anything similar i'm seeing new new things like mitochondria coming up so we should have a mix of familiarity and something new this is fragile x syndrome firstly i hope you all remember before i get 
गेट इन टू दैट क्वेश्चन फ्रजाइल एक्स सिंड्रोम में जो क्वेश्चन अभी तक आए हैं आई टेक अप द नीट क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वॉट आर द रिपीट्स दैट यू हैव यू हैव द सी जी जी रिपीट्स अप टिल हाउ मे नी जल्दी से यू हैव वन मिनट यू विल टेल मी एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ फ्रजाइल एक्स देन आई कम टू जेनेटिक्स अप टिल हाउ मे नी सी जी जी रिपीट्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज नॉर्मल मैम वी स्टडी फिफ्टी फाइव fit and fine okay 55 fit and fine so till the time you and i we have 55 times cgg happening it's all good when it goes from 55 to 200 is that fragile x syndrome no that's fragile x fragaxa that is fragile fragile x tremors and ataxia patient doesn't have fragile x syndrome right now the patient has tremors and patient has ataxia to isko kya bolte hain this is known as chhota mutation small tiny mutation this is known as a pre mutation yes now we are ready for the main main mutation when it crosses 200 repeats that's the main mutation and that is when fragile x syndrome occurs so what do you think happens in uh, generations as generations are going forward are the number of repeats increase increasing or decreasing so number of repeats are going to increase or decrease with generations very good so all of you know it ma'am they keep on increasing every generation will have more and more and more repeats what is this concept known as this is a pyq again this is known as sherman's paradox and the other name for sherman's paradox is anticipation they like to use the word anticipation more in the exam so kya anticipate kar rahe ho anticipating is what anticipating is like fortune telling astrology ji karna to tell the future like i am telling you a futuristic view of mine that all of you are going to do very very well in ini and in neat that is my personal belief and my future prediction for all of you so similarly yahan par bhi you are doing that kind of the anticipation so what is that anticipation what do these patients suffer from mental retardation which is now known as intellectual disability kitna iq hota hai previous year question fragile x syndrome ka iq is 20 to 60 ke beech mein hota hai ma'am neat ka pyq hai ye 20 to 60 hota hai so i am anticipating that with every generation the iq will keep getting lower and lower and lower and lower so with every generation but then that's not only in fragile x syndrome as you keep asking your elders in your family they will believe that this has happened in the general population also and with every generation the iq is getting lower and lower so you are anticipating that their next generation will be furtherly further having a lower iq severity or kam hota jayega that is what is anticipation that is known as sherman's paradox what else look at the facial profile facial profile ma'am they really ask me ek hota hai there is a long face then you can see their man mandible is also very very long so that is going to be giant mandible and they have wo amir khan pk wale ears that is going to be large ears these three things you remember examiner will write long nose ya aisa kuch nahi remember there is going to be a long face there is a large mandible and there are large ears theek hai this is one thing and that was given in the question there was a long face there was a large mandible there was large ears but this was a 15 year old boy he has hit puberty after puberty what is the most characteristic feature of fragile x syndrome that is macro orchidism so remember most characteristic and most characteristic is large testicular size or macro orchidism ma'am this is the classical fragile x syndrome plus aapne x chromosome de diya fragile x syndrome ka diagnosis ban gaya they have asked you which pcr will you use i have still 1 minute left what is the investigation of choice for fragile x syndrome it is polymerase chain reaction and they have asked you which one it is amplicon length analysis what is the meaning of this ma'am length whenever i have to measure lengthy dna and yahan par to i have to measure lengthy dna na because cgg 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 is repeating 200 400 1000 2000 times so cgg cgg has made my dna very very lengthy lengthy dna ke liye i will be doing amplicon length analysis my answer is settled but what if pcr fails now what is your answer you have already given it sudden blotting is the answer. सर मैम नाउ एंड हम वो नॉर्थ साउथ वेस्ट वाला ब्लॉटिंग नहीं रिवाइज करेंगे वो रोटी डोसा पिज्जा सबको आता है तो हम कुछ और रिवाइज करेंगे तो फर्स्टली वो करने से पहले एवरी वन क्लियर विद दिस वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट फॉर लेंदी लेंदी डी एन ए यू आर गोइंग टू गो अहेड विद वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू गो अहेड विद एम्प्लिक ऑन लेंथ एनालिसिस सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे से यू हैव अ केस ऑफ मायोटोनिक डिस ट्रॉफी पहले तो कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द रिपीट इन इट मायोटोनिक डिस ट्रॉफी का रिपीट क्या होता है मेडिसिन में मैम इट इज अ टी इन बिटवीन सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी सी 
टी जी तो अगर ये वाला केस आया तो दे विल से अच्छा ना विच काइंड ऑफ पी सी आर विल यू यूज यूल से सेम वेन एवर सी टी जी सी टी जी सी टी जी सी टी जी लेंदी लेंदी डी एन ए होगा सारे लेंदी डी एन एज के लिए आई विल बी यूजिंग एम्प्लीकॉन लेंथ एनालिसिस एनी लेंदी डी एन ए हंटिंग टिन डिजीज में क्या है मैम हंटिंग इन अ केज हंटिंग इन अ केज मीन्स इट इज सी ए जी मतलब एग्जामिनर विल गिव मी रिपीट एंड ही विल से दिस इज अ डिजीज आई विल ऑलवेज मार्क एम्प्लीकॉन लेंथ एनालिसिस नाउ माई क्वेश्चन वॉज नॉट दिस माई क्वेश्चन वॉज के ब्लॉटिंग्स में आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क you this southern northern and western blotting because that roti dosa pizza everyone is pretty much sick of so south dosa dna north roti rna west pizza protein mujhe bas bata do eastern blotting kahan hoti hai that is a question which for ini ct going to be there is this for neat yes yes of course it is useful for neat and it is useful for both neat and ini aajkal you will see in the last 3 years ini is getting a lot of there's a lot of stealing happening here and there and a lot of questions are overlapping between neat and i and i so remember when we have eastern blotting excellent that is the expected question post translational modifications excellent guys post translational modifications so please over there don't keep searching ki humne khane ka padha tha to let search for some momos nahi remember it is going to be post translational modifications that's that could be an ini question acha chalo this is also done now that you told me all about pcr i give you 5 minutes in life less than 5 you will tell me the different kind of pcrs and you will then tell me that okay so um what is all this kaun se case mein ma'am kya mark kar ke aayenge i will mark the easiest one i will start with the gold standard that is sanger sequencing so gold standard that is going to be sanger sequencing that is gold standard polymerase chain reaction this is done now let's start with other dusra pcr single base primer extension ma'am single base when i have a known locus okay when i have a known locus so you will tell me examples i will give you the disease you tell me the locus okay if i say there is a case of polycythemia vera and there is a case of hairy cell leukemia in dono ka locus mujhe bata do ulta i am telling you polycythemia vera ka diagnosis is very good jack 2 v 617f v 617f ma'am the locus is known 617 codon hairy cell leukemia ka kya hai braf v 600e so ma'am locus is known when you know like i'll tell you in a patient of hairy cell leukemia theory says 100% patients will have braf v 600e to agar ek patient hai clinically pathology mein everyone is saying this is hairy cell leukemia so in genetics you know that he is going to have braf v 600e mutation you don't go for the other type. Types. you know which base to target you go for single base primer extension and same for polycythemia vera most commonly this is the mutation seen so you directly go for single base primer extension okay now when do you do pyro sequencing pyro sequencing is done for contaminated sample and i've told you this so many times contaminated sample does not mean ke sample mein koi bacteria virus hai contaminated sample just means that your tumor component is less low tumor yield maybe normal things are more normal fat breast ke normal duct ye sab zyada hai breast cancer cells are only 8% or 10% that is when you do pyro sequencing and something that i will be teaching you in the future two day classes also apart from pyro sequencing what is even better than pyro sequencing for contaminated samples or low tumor yields it is going to be next generation sequencing so if you have ngs in the options for low tumor yield you will always mark next generation sequencing agar wo nahi hai then you will mark pyro sequencing very good now amplicon length analysis to we have already done ma'am for lengthy dna for example just as an example i'm writing fragile x syndrome here let's go to the next one there is something called real time or quantitative pcr when i want to know the quantity of something for example i say that uh, and someone asked me a question on braf i'll just take it up okay so remember when i say quantitative i say chalo cml ka case hai cml ka everyone knows na philadelphia chromosome 922 ka philadelphia chromosome matlab bcr abl wala ma'am fusion ye to sabko pata hai yahan tak basic hai to ma'am i want to count the bcr abl fusion copies i want to count how many why do i want to count because today i will count and then i will give the therapy what is the therapy imatinib 
एंड आफ्टर दैट वेन आई विल काउंट अगेन आई विल नो ना पेशेंट हैज रिस्पॉन्डेड टू ए मैट एन एबर नॉट तो समटाइम्स नोइंग द क्वान्टिटी इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज आई कैन गेट टू नो द पेशेंट्स रिस्पॉन्स टू द सर्टन थेरेपी दैट आई एम गिविंग तो क्वान्टिटी कहाँ भी पूछा जाएगा या कोई रियल टाइम पूछा जाएगा आई विल मार्क द क्वान्टिटेटिव और रियल टाइम पी सी आर दिस एवरी वन हैज सफर्ड फॉर थ्री फोर ईयर एंड इवन डेट आर सफरिंग तो आर एन ए का कुछ भी होगा मैम कोविड के लिए हम करेंगे करते थे दैट इज आर टी पी सी आर रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज एंड यू ऑल नो इन कोविड इन कोरोना वायरस वर यू ओनली डूइंग आर टी पी सी आर और वर यू डूइंग आर आर टी पी सी आर नाउ एज अ ले मैन ही विल से आर टी पी सी आर बट एज अ डॉक्टर यू शुड नो यू वर डूइंग आर आर टी पी सी आर दैट इज यू वर डूइंग अ कॉम्बो ऑफ बोथ रियल टाइम एंड रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज पी सी आर दैट इज वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड फाइनली पी सी आर का स्टोरीज अगर खत्म हो गया दैट मैम कैन आई फिनिश ऑफ द लास्ट वन दैट इज जी डब्ल्यू ए एस जीनोम वाइड एसोसिएशन स्टडीज वेन आई हैव टू डू पॉपुलेशन मतलब बेसिकली पैथोलॉजी में पी एस एम का काम करना है तब हम करेंगे जीनोम वाइड एसोसिएशन studies population studies that one day you decide that why are 10 million people having diabetes why is india becoming the cancer capital of the world the news that all of you must have read by now why are one in three people diabetic aisa kaun sa gene hai when you want to do these kind of population studies then you want to do gwas to jab psm path ka integration hoga which i hope never happens i would not be interested for that integration either as much as you so gwas is the psm path ka this thing okay next someone has asked me feluda test crispr cas9 nahi nahi wo aaj ka topic nahi hai crispr cas कल का टॉपिक है क्रिस्पर कैस नाइन कार्ट थेरेपी दीज आर टॉपिक्स ऑफ टुमारो सो वी विल नॉट गो इन फॉर दैट टुडे दीज वर ऑल योर पीसीआर्स दे आर ऑल सेटल्ड इफ आई गिव यू ऑल दीज ऑप्शंस रैंडमली एंड नाउ आस्क यू व्हिच ऑफ दीज वुड यू यूज इन अ केस ऑफ से अ लो ट्यूमर यील्ड वेयर द पेशेंट हैज ओनली गिवन अ बायोप्सी विद 14% ट्यूमर सेल्स तो लो ट्यूमर यील्ड के लिए क्या करोगे तो ऑब्वियसली योर आंसर इज पाइरो बट इन केस यू वुड हैव हैड नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सीक्वेंसिंग देन योर आंसर वुड हैव बीन एनजीएस ठीक है ओके दिस इज आल्सो डन जेनेटिक्स करा तो ये खत्म करो प्लीज वन मोर इजी इजीएस्ट जेनेटिक्स टॉपिक आई हैव केप्ट हियर वॉट आर दी एंटिसिपेटेड क्लिनिकल प्रेजेंटेशन इन पेशेंट डिपिक्टेड विद द फॉलोइंग कैरियोटाइप इमेज समथिंग हैज बीन गिवन कैरियोटाइप देखो एंड टेल द क्लिनिकल ओके आई एम गेटिंग ए एज दी आंसर गाइनाकोमैस्टिया एंड लॉन्ग लिम्स तो क्या कैरियोटाइप बनाया इजीएस्ट द मोस्ट क्लीन कैरियोटाइप आई हैव एवर सीन ऑल दो आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कुड सी द इंटायर कैरियोटाइप बट यू प्रिटी स्मार्ट द एग द वाई क्रोमोजोम गॉट हिट बिहाइंड मी बट फिर भी सबने आंसर बना लिया दैट सो नाइस सो एक्स एक्स वाई वॉट इज एक्स एक्स वाई मैम इट्स अ मेल पेशेंट इट्स अ फोर्टी सेवन एक्स एक्स वाई मेल पेशेंट में एक्स्ट्रा एक्स क्रोमोजोम इट्स अ केस ऑफ क्लाइन फेल्टर एक्सेलेंट अच्छा समवन दिस इज आई एम सो ग्लैड यू मेड दैट मिस्टेक आई नो यू मेड अ टाइपिंग मिस्टेक विदाउट इवन थिंकिंग ऑफ इट बट एग्जामिनर ये जान के मिस्टेक देता है एग्जामिनर इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू आस्क यू सिंपल क्वेश्चन ना कि अच्छा क्लाइन फिल्टर का कैरियो टाइप क्या है वॉट इज द जेनेटिक्स ऑफ क्लाइन फिल्टर ऑप्शन ए विल बी फोर्टी सिक्स एक्स एक्स वाई एंड आउट ऑफ दैट एक्स्ट्रा इंथ्यूजियाजम एंड ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड हैप्पीनेस एंड एक्साइटमेंट ऑफ having a known topic ke yaar ye to padha tha all of you will mark this but then you will come to a conclusion that if you added one chromosome here you should have added the number also na there is nothing known as 46 xxy if you've added one here then please keep your maths intact it has to be 47 xxy option b will be this and of course this will be your answer so just आई एव ऑलवेज टोल्ड एवरी वन वहाँ पर सिली मिस्टेक कहाँ होता है सिली मिस्टेक हैपन्स वेन यू फील दैट आई एम सो कॉन्फिडेंट आई कैन मार्क दिस एनी टाइम सो तो ये भी मार्क हो जाएगा अभी तो हो जाएगा दैट इज़ वेरी गुड बट ऑन द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम दैट सिली मिस्टेक हैपन्स वेन यू आर सुपर कॉन्फिडेंस टॉपिक्स एंड वॉट अ स्टूपड क्वेश्चन एग्जामिनर एज गिवन वहाँ पर कहीं ना कहीं यू आर गोइंग टू मेक दैट मिस्टेक सो वेन एवर यू फील दैट आई एम डेड श्योर अबाउट दिस आंसर दैट इज वेन यू जस्ट यू डोट हैव टू ओवर थिंक यू जस्ट हैव टू पुट योर पेस अ लिटल डाउन बाई टेन सेकेंड एंड रीड इट carefully despite knowing it very well don't take it for granted kya re aise ye to mujhe aata hai read it very very carefully theek hai chalo coming back why did all of you of course kleinfelter kleinfelter matlab it is going to be gynecomastia and long limbs this we all know where do you see polydactyly p for polydactyly p for petau syndrome so petau syndrome is going to be seen in trisomy 
13 where do you see webbing of the neck and lymphedema webbing of the neck is seen in turners so uh, my question to you over here is they have mentioned lymphedema in turners but can you tell me any other lymphatic tumor that happens in turners what is that lymphatic tumor known as it is cystic hygroma in case you did not know what kind of a lymphatic tumor ma'am ye lymphangioma hota hai and there is no other question i'm mentioning this because there is no other question on lymphangioma in any of the 19 subjects you need to know that when lymphangioma occurs in where when lymphangioma occurs in the neck what do you call it you call it a cystic hygroma and cystic hygroma is only seen with one chromosomal anomaly if they ask you kaun sa chromosomal anomaly turners so turners ka lymphatic channel tumor cystic hygroma there is no other question of cystic hygroma anywhere else Achha, uh, someone said rocker bottom feet is seen in both. Both consa both? Petau and dusra both kya hai? Petau and Edward. You are right. Rocker bottom feet are seen in both. But abhi my answer is something else. Ye to chhod do. Abhi my answer is on karyotyping. Kaun se phase mein karte hai? Now you will do one minute ka fill in the blanks. Kaun sa phase karoge? We will do the meta phase. How will you arrest it at the meta phase? And why am I asking you this? Because right now I taught you fish. And in fish the arrest was at interphase. Here the arrest is at meta phase. How did you do the arrested metaphase by adding a chemical called colchicine. Karyotyping is AIMS ka favorite exam question because unke maa hota hai department mein so they try to ask you these kind of questions. What is the fixative that we have already studied today? That is Carnois fixative. Wo 3 is to 1 padha tha ma'am ye to pal liya. What staining? Ye jo bands ban rahe hai kya banding hai? So examiner can ask me many bandings but the most common banding which is done in AIMS is going to be G banding and G stands for what stain? Jimsa stain. Ma'am is के लिए कौन सा माइक्रोस्कोप यूज करेंगे भाई G for गरीब गरीब वाला माइक्रोस्कोप जो हम हर जगह यूज करते हैं we use the light microscope but if I use something very fancy what do you call as Q banding Q banding is known as which stain it is quina cream stain ma'am queen के लिए you can't use anything गरीब right so remember quina cream stain के लिए you will use something fancy and that is fluorescent microscope excellent so they will ask you most common G banding G banding गरीब so that is light microscope, Q banding, queen, so queen ke liye. fluorescent microscope. There are so many, not many path mein to microscope questions are there nahi hai na. If I just want to ask you some random questions, light microscope ma'am hume already pata hai. And wo black and white wala photo jo hota hai, electron microscope we know. Fluorescent wala microscope we know, fluorescent like you were telling me right now question that comes on it is Q banding. Can you tell me where in pathology have you studied polarizing microscope? <coughs> Where in pathology have you studied polarizing microscopy? That famous Congo red and apple green birefringence that you keep studying. Na? So that Congo red wala is going to be polarizing. And one last question, where in pathology do you study the phase contrast microscope? This is, let's see who studied hemat in detail. Phase contrast microscope, koi cells hai which are best seen on phase contrast microscope. I have given you a big hint that is hematology and that cell looks something like this. It sends out these hairy projections. So remember hairy cells, hairy cells are best seen on phase contrast microscope. These are some of the questions regarding to microscopes in path where you need to be uh, careful. Yes, hairy cell leukemia, but please be aware that microscopes ek micro ka topic hai jo alag se hoga. But these are the main main at least polarizing and phase contrast extra that you need to know for pathology point. Coming back, your karyotyping questions are also done and I think now we can move on to the next one which is a totally new topic. Very famous with I and I. There is a liver biopsy in a four year old boy which reveals intracytoplasmic inclusions with past stains and they have given you a picture. Which of the following is what you are going to see? So. Obviously, this I have done purposely. Someone said D. Guys, this I had done purposely because this was the message I was sending out to the examiners. See, this is what I just wanted to test for all of you. I could have just erased it like this and then the real question would have come in front of you. But sometimes the same thing happens in the exam. Na? The answer is not erased. The images have labelings because it's just some technical issue. It's not easy to erase certain labelings from every image. And sometimes the answer is staring and shouting and wanting to be marked. But still what do you do? 
you are on your own trip in the exam and you decide that i will think of something out of the world and i will mark someone mark d over here jahan pe bada bada likha hai liver cirrhosis unless you mark liver cirrhosis thinking ke liver ka case hai to liver cirrhosis waisa socha to fir then that is not how things are going to work firstly cirrhosis karaya 4 year old boy mein to uske liye kuch sochna padta hai pehle when i say a 4 year old boy and i say that there is something to do with a liver biopsy that has been done you have to think of the first disease which one alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency kyunki chote bacche ka disease socha to you will not think of things like alcoholic liver disease for obvious reasons you will think of either metabolic or enzyme deficiencies and liver may when they say past tin there is nothing other than alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency that you will think of it has to be only this so please note firstly alpha 1 anti trypsin past positive to theek hai diastase sensitive or diastase resistant i know that diastase sensitive is only glycogen everything else on this planet is going to be diastase resistant and all of you are saying something called lal so yes what is lal so most common name of every boy born in this country when his name is not been kept so the mother says my lal so remember lal means there is going to be a very very young chota bachcha a very chota bachcha his name is lal why lal because we are dealing with alpha 1 anti trypsin deficiency and the first organ affected is the liver and the The second organ affected is the lungs. What happens in this chota bacha lal? What happens in his lungs? It is pan acinar emphysema. Pan acinar emphysema happens. And ma'am, lal reminds me of red pink. So the stain is also going to be something on the same lines of red and pink. The stain is pass positive. Yaha takka story I knew, right? So lal and mitu are our two nicknames that we have kept for kids. You are right. so this is the next nickname nickname we've kept for the kid that is lal theek hai to lung and liver effect hoga that is alpha 1 antitrypsin before i come to this question ek aur pyq batao alpha 1 antitrypsin gene ka chromosome very good dr navin says chromosome 14 famous pyq so pyq i have not got you pyq questions today because then unnecessarily you solve them you'll solve them so i've got you new questions but i'll keep discussing all pyqs it is chromosome 14 now coming to this ma'am this is what ye kya technique Okay. First, can you let me know the name written is protein electrophoresis in the exam? Please don't be in a hurry. कि ये तो मुझे आता है because all of you have you seen that mnemonic which everyone has ऐसा करके कुछ mnemonic पढ़ते हो कि मैम ऐसा है ऐसा है ये कुछ पढ़ते हो ना hand actions with protein electrophoresis that's very good. I will also teach you like that. But in the exam you forget one thing. Protein electrophoresis कहाँ पे करा examiner ने? because serum protein electrophoresis is different and urine protein electrophoresis is different and this will make a hell lot of difference when you are dealing with kidney chapter kidney chapter mein serum and urine that is the entire game in that chapter right that the urine has all the protein and the blood doesn't whereas normally the blood has all the protein and the urine doesn't so please please listen to what the examiner is telling you just don't read protein electrophoresis and start jumping with excitement here they have said blood ka serum protein so this is what you mean by spep serum protein electrophoresis serum mein ho raha hai blood mein ho raha hai so what is the what is the maximum protein that you see in the blood of course that is going to be albumin ठीक है मैम आफ्टर दैट व्हाट डू वी सी इन एल्ब्यूमिन सो दैट फेमस हैंड वाला स्टोरी दैट यू स्टडी वी विल शो यू सो दैट इज एल्ब्यूमिन एल्ब्यूमिन के बाद अगला प्रोटीन इज अल्फा वन व्हिच विल ऑफ कोर्स बी व्हाट अल्फा वन एंटीट्रिप्सिन नेक्स्ट विल बी अल्फा टू व्हिच विल बी क्या अल्फा टू माइक्रोग्लोबुलिन नेक्स्ट विल बी बीटा बीटा विल बी बीटा लाइपो प्रोटीन सो यहाँ तक तो एग्जामिनर नहीं पूछेगा ना कि अल्फा वन विल कम वेयर अल्फा टू विल कम वेयर बीटा विल कम वेयर कॉमन सेंस एंड गामा इज वॉट गामा इज ग्लोबुलिन ग्लोबुलिन मीन्स गामा इज एंटीबॉडी सो दैट इज वॉट यू हैव यू हैव अ केस ऑफ नंबर वन you have a case of albumin then you have alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma baki sab yaad karo all please remember where do you get haptoglobin and ceruloplasmin haptoglobin and ceruloplasmin are seen in the yes in the alpha 2 range the haptoglobulin and this beta ye jo alag se hai transferrin that is seen in the beta range and that is where you will make a mistake i am repeating this once again please note haptoglobin i have learnt it as haptoglobin haptoglobin kahan dikhta hai haptoglobin is seen in the alpha 2 area haptoglobin 
हीमोग्लोबिन क्या होता है एनी वन हु कैन आंसर दिस फॉर मी हैप टू ग्लोबिन जो होता है दैट इज आई एम राइटिंग इट लाइक दैट ओनली नाउ सो दैट यू नो दैट हैप टू ग्लोबिन इज सीन इन दी एल्फा टू स्टेज सो मैम हैप टू ग्लोबिन इज द ट्रांसफर प्रोटीन फॉर इट ट्रेवल्स विद होम इट्स द ट्रांसफर प्रोटीन ऑफ वेरी गुड इट्स ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन हीमोग्लोबिन इन हिमोलिटिक अनिमिया इन हिमोलिटिक अनिमिया वेन ऑल द हीमोग्लोबिन कम्स आउट होम डज इट ट्रेवल विद इट ट्रेवल्स विद हैप्टोग्लोबिन सो हैप्टोग्लोबिन इज डेफिनेटली कमिंग अंडर एल्फा टू वेर इज ट्रांसफेरिन ट्रांसफेरिन इज गोइंग टू कम अंडर बीटा ये गलती प्लीज नहीं करना वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट ओवर हियर तो नॉर्मल अगर जल्दी से आई आस्क यू ऑन अ ब्लैंक स्लाइड ओवर हियर इफ आई आस्क यू वॉट ऑल विल यू कीप वेयर देन बिफोर गोइंग ऑन द थिंग मैम सबसे ज्यादा एल्ब्यूमिन देन कम्स एल्फा वन जिसमें एल्फा वन एंटी ट्रिप्सिन आएगा देन कम्स एल्फा टू जिसमें एल्फा टू माइक्रोग्लोबिलिन आएगा एंड हैव टू ग्लोबिन आएगा देन कम्स दैट नॉच वाला बीटा बीटा में मैम यू जस्ट टोल्ड अस एक्स्ट्रा बीटा टू तो होगा बट एक्स्ट्रा क्या होगा ट्रांसफेरिन एंड गामा में क्या होगा गामा इज गोइंग टू बी योर ग्लोबिलिन सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल स्टडी इट दिस इज हाउ यू स्टडी के देखो फर्स्ट फिंगर ओवर हियर इज एल्ब्यूमिन देन यू हैव थ्री फिंगर्स दैट इज एल्फा वन एल्फा टू बीटा एंड then this hump that you are getting over here that is going to be gamma so albumin alpha 1 alpha 2 beta gamma ye normal hai now i will show you what happens in individual diseases let us start so over here here you go dekho they will give you a normal and they will say keep comparing what do you see i have hidden the diagnosis now saron ka diagnosis bata do so ma'am over here if i look and compare alpha 1 and alpha 2 are suddenly looking a little more are these produced more yes why are they produced more because this is a case of acute inflammation acute inflammation mein all of you were mentioning ma'am acute phase reactants badhte hain there is in increase production of proteins and acute phase reactants yes it is so that is why alpha 1 and alpha 2 are coming more look at the next one suddenly i see this chota wala alpha 1 has suddenly dipped why has alpha 1 dipped common sense alpha 1 has dipped because of deficiency this is a case of alpha 1 and t trypsin deficiency tabhi that alpha 1 has gone down now let's look at the next one over here i can see that if you just look at the normal albumin and you compare it with the albumin over here i feel the albumin has taken a dip first finding that i have is albumin thoda sa kam hua hai next finding is i see the beta and gamma have somewhere fused what is this known as excellent most of you got it right ma'am this is known as beta gamma bridging beta gamma bridging and why has this happened this is a case of liver cirrhosis matlab liver ka production ability kharab hua hai liver's synthetic ability has been hampered albumin production is going down there is beta gamma bridging that is happening that is what you see in liver cirrhosis and finally what do you see in the next one what is this i can see everything is somewhere half hazard एल्ब्यूमिन एल्ब्यूमिन कंपेयर करो तो एल्ब्यूमिन तो टॉलेस्ट पीक था तो मैम एल्ब्यूमिन देर इज हाइपो एल्ब्यूमिनीमिया सो दी एल्ब्यूमिन लेवल्स हैव डेफिनेटली गॉन डाउन and my body has compensated it has increased something else my body said if one thing is going down let me increase something else this kind of compensation happens in nephrotic syndrome remember we all know nephrotic syndrome mein hypoalbuminemia hota hai that is why i said na please dekhna blood ka electrophoresis ho raha hai ya urine ka because in nephrotic syndrome if urine ka electrophoresis hota then the protein would have been massive here it is blood electrophoresis serum electrophoresis that is why the protein levels are yeah, less albumin is less and what is there a compensatory increase ma'am in nephrotic the compensatory body increases alpha 2 and beta that is why we say this is a case of nephrotic syndrome and i've kept the last one because everyone knows it is ka to normal bhi nahi chahiye ma'am all of this was normal instead of this that you had shown me suddenly if the thumb also peaks up like this this all of us know as what m spike एम स्पाइक मतलब आई एम डीलिंग विद मल्टीपल माइलोमा बस एक क्वेश्चन बता दो ये एम स्पाइक का एंटीबॉडी कौन सा होता है मल्टीपल माइलोमा में एम स्पाइक मतलब इज इट आई जी एम और आई जी जी इट इज गोइंग टू बी आई जी एम नो जी ओके वॉट इज द आंसर आई जी जी होगा बाय बिकॉज मैनी स्टूडेंट्स गो इन दी एग्जाम एंड बिलीव मल्टीपल माइलोमा में एम स्पाइक दिखता है तो एम स्पाइक मतलब आई जी एम होगा नो द मोस्ट कॉमन एंटीबॉडी इज गोइंग टू बी आई जी जी सो नाउ वी कम बैक एंड लुक एट माई क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ यू नो ये वो लाल वाला केस था मैम छोटा बच्चा आई हैड टू लुक एट द वन इन विच देर वॉज अ डिक्रीज इन एल्फा वन एंटी ट्रिप्सिन सो दिस इज द आंसर एल्फा वन एंटी ट्रिप्सिन बाकी सब क्या था ये तो नॉर्मल था 
इसमें पीक था तो दिस मस्ट बी मल्टीपल माइलोमा एंड इसमें बीटा गामा ब्रिजिंग था सो दिस मस्ट बी लिवर सिरोसिस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो सेटल्ड एंड वी आर डन थैंक यू अंकित सर फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन एंड सर बाई नाउ दैट डे सर वॉज ऑल्सो टेलिंग मी दैट अब यू नो विद वेन एवर ही स्विच इज ऑन ही सी स्टूडेंट्स मैंशनिंग थिंग्स लाइक पान खाता बच्चा एंड ऑल सो ही इज ऑल्सो सम हाउ लर्न सम ऑफ दीज निमोनिक्स सो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डन अ गुड जॉब यू राइट सो मेनी कॉमेंट्स एंड सो मेनी निमोनिक्स हियर एंड देयर इन एवरी सेशन दैट नाउ एवरी वन इज नोइंग वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन सम कोड लैंग्वेज थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन एंड फॉर मोटिवेटिंग द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज डन कैन आई प्लीज मूव फॉर to the next topic some of you are exhausted and i can expect that to happen it is going to it is what it is 2 o'clock is just 2 hours in anatomy many of you sort sat for 5 5 hours mere sath you are doing 2 hours me you are saying ma'am thak gaye bas bas nahi hoga so we will have i can't finish without immuno deficiency guys quickly let me know the answer to this okay so what is this what is the following genetic defect is most commonly associated with x linked severe combined immunodeficiency guys all of you are answering a but you did not read what have i asked you i have asked you x linked i have not asked you the autosomal recessive so why did all of you mark ada deficiency ka problem x linked sab ka unanimous answer oh my god so uh, i think this needs a revision when i say severe combined immunodeficiency now some of you have gone to b bilkul bhi nahi the correct answer is c okay and now i need to revise this so jin jin ka galat hua bilkul dhyan se suno this needs revision i thought i'll take a test but first i think on priority i want to finish off the first immunodeficiency for you that is kid severe combined immunodeficiency immunodeficiency you all understand that the patient's immunity is going to be less right and when i say combined combined means ma'am combined cells may problem hai b t n k all of them are, are going to undergo a defect okay it's of two types one is xlr one is ar guys xlr is the more common type of skid sab pehli cheez second xlr i have always told you x may say you will make a gamma it is the gamma subunit of cytokine receptors which is a problem gamma subunit of cytokine receptors which is a problem that is not ada ada deficiency jo aap sab ne itna hype karke yaad kara hai why because ma'am we have studied in medicine ke ada enzyme hai adenosine deaminase and medicine mein humne padha hai ke enzyme replacement iska treatment hai so we have forgotten everything else humne sirf yaad kara ada but ada is which inheritance adenosine deaminase deficiency is autosomal recessive inheritance in fact there are two more there is something known as jack 3 wala mutation to usme bhi a aata hai that is also autosomal recessive and then there is going to be rag 1 and 2 ka mutation that is also going to be autosomal recessive means all the mutations of skid whether they ask you ada deficiency or jack 3 or rag 1 2 ye sab ar hota hai the only one which is xlr x ka humne gamma banaya the gamma subunit wala is going to be the xlr so xlr is overall out of these four xlr is the most common but if someone asks you ar category mein most common kaun sa hai that is your favorite ada deficiency which all of you very nicely marked and ek ne mark kara to sab ne saath saath mark kara because by now we've gone into sleep mode also na so if you now see ada deficiency kaun sa inheritance ar rag gene mutation kaun sa inheritance ar jack 3 gene mutation kaun sa inheritance ar the gamma subunit gamma chain of cytokine receptors ma'am that is going to be xlr okay can you let me know what is the clinical what kind of a clinical presentation does the boy or girl come with it is a morbidly form rash morbidly form rash kya hota hai the child is born uske face pe red color ka rash hota hai that is going to be red rash of of the on the face that is what you call as the morbiliform rash abhi now we are not over ye pura table hame khatam karna hai so what i'll do because all of a sudden everyone got too demotivated in life so what we'll do we will study this table in 5 minutes and then i'll ask you three more questions is it a good deal yes because i don't want you to get further demotivated and then i send me all those crying emoticons to usko prevent karne ke liye jaldi se ma'am pad lete hain 5 minute mein and then we are going to be uh, 
एक्सपर्ट्स इन दिस टॉपिक ठीक है यस ऑल ऑफ यू आर राइट दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट डिजीज जिसके लिए क्या हुआ था जीन थेरेपी दिया गया था अमेजिंग सो स्किट इज डन इनहेरिटेंस डन सिवियर कंबाइंड इम्यूनो डेफिशंसी एक्सेल आर यार नहीं आप मैस अप करोगे द नेक्स्ट इम्यूनो डेफिशंसी इज ब्रूटॉन्स यू आर नॉट मैसिंग अप ब्रूटॉन्स एवर ये तो सबका फेवरेट है ना बी फॉर ब्रूटॉन्स विथ जेंडर डू यू सी इट मोर इन मैम बी फॉर ब्रूटॉन्स बी फॉर बॉयज में ज्यादा कॉमन है बी सेल का प्रॉब्लम है या टी सेल का प्रॉब्लम है बी सेल्स का प्रॉब्लम है मैम बी फॉर बी सेल्स एंड वॉट इज द जीन दैट इज डिफेक्टिव इट इज अ बी टी के जीन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी डिफेक्टिव एंड क्या जीन डिफेक्ट होता है मैम हाइपोगामा ग्लोबुलिनीमिया मीन्स देर इज अ डिक्रीज इन इम्यूनो ग्लोबुलिन जी एंड आई नो डू रिमेंबर जी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्शन इन सो इफ जी इज नॉट देयर देन द पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू हैव डिफेक्टिव ऑप्सोनाइजेशन पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू हैव डिफेक्टिव ऑप्सोनाइजेशन सो ब्रूटॉन्स इज डन फॉर यू बॉयज बी सेल बी टी के एंड आई जी जी कम होगा डिफेक्टिव ऑप्सोनाइजेशन बट आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू डिफ्रेंशिएट ब्रूटॉन्स वर्सेज समथिंग एल्स ब्रूटॉन्स वर्सेज सीवेड सीवेड क्या होता है कॉमन वेरिएबल इम्यूनो डेफिशंसी मैम इम्यूनो डेफिशंसी वर्ड समझ आ गया वेरिएबल ओके वॉट इज कॉमन कॉमन विल टेल मी इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन बी सेल्स एंड इन टी सेल्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू डिफ्रेंशिएट ब्रूटॉन्स वर्सेज सीवेड एंड आई टेल यू हाउ पहले टेल मी ब्रूटॉन्स इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन बी सेल्स और टी सेल्स यूल से ब्रूटॉन्स इज अ प्रॉब्लम ओनली इन द बी सेल्स वेर एज सीवेड इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द बी सेल्स एज वेल एज द टी सेल्स तो टी सेल का स्टोरी खत्म करो टी सेल का प्रॉब्लम क्यों होता है बिकॉज देर इज अ डिफेक्ट इन अ जीन कॉल्ड आईकॉस जीन आईकॉस जीन इज गोइंग टू बी डिफेक्टिव दैट इज वाई टी सेल इज डिफेक्टिव टी सेल भूल जाओ अभी आई हैव टू कंपेयर बोथ ऑफ दैम बिकॉज बोथ ऑफ दैम हैव अ बी सेल प्रॉब्लम सो आई हैव रिटर्न समथिंग फॉर यू हाउ आर बी सेल्स फॉर्म्ड मैम पहले तो दे आर बेबीज दे आर इमेच्योर देन दे बिकम अ लिटिल अडोलसेंट मेच्योर जब अडोलसेंट होते हैं तो कहाँ पे होते हैं दे टेन टू गो एंड सिट इन द जर्मिनल सेंटर एंड देन वन डे दे आर गोइंग टू बिकम एडल्ट दैट इज दे विल टेन टर्न इन टू प्लाज्मा सेल्स एंड मेक एंटीबॉडीज ये तो पता ही है ना नाउ डू यू नो हु converts these immature to mature it is the btk gene and who converts the mature to plasma cell it is the baf gene if you understood this disease ho gaya now tell me if the btk gene is not working ma'am if btk gene is not working patient ko hoga bruton and agar baf gene is not working then patient ko hoga cvid how simple so if i ask you out of these two which of them has hyperplastic germinal centers hyperplastic to khud socho ma'am in brutons btk is not there so these cells will not form तो जर्मिनल सेंटर तो बनेगा ही नहीं ब्रूटॉन्स में तो उल्टा होगा ब्रूटॉन्स विल हैव हाइपोप्लास्टिक जर्मिनल सेंटर्स बिकॉज दिस मेच्योर सेल्स वर नॉट फॉर्म्ड ओनली वेर इज इन सीवेड मेच्योर सेल्स तो बनाए मैम दे हैव फॉर्म जर्मिनल सेंटर हैज अ लॉट ऑफ सेल्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप हैज नॉट हैपन प्लाज्मा सेल नहीं बना बट मेच्योर सेल तो बनाए ना सो सीवेड इज गोइंग टू हैव हाइपर प्लास्टिक जर्मिनल सेंटर्स दिस मच स्टोरी एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड आई डू अ फिफ्टीन सेकेंड रिपीट इम मेच्योर बी सेल चेंजेस टू मेच्योर बी सेल बाई बी टी के इफ बी टी के इज नॉट देयर दैट इज अ डिजीज कॉल्ड ब्रूटॉन्स एंड बी टी के नहीं होगा मतलब मेच्योर सेल्स विल नॉट फॉर्म मतलब जर्मिनल सेंटर विल नॉट हैव एनी Mature cell changes to plasma cell by BAF. So BAF is not there. This means, ma'am, nothing will change to plasma cell. Mature cell will remain mature. Germinal center will be full, overpacked, overcrowded. So germinal center will then become hyperplastic. Next difference. Remember, Bruton is more commonly in B for boys, whereas Cvid में ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. Cvid is equal to both boys as well as girls. Bruton's is going to be a problem only in the B cells, ma'am. Cvid is a problem in both the B and the T cells. And now I know the problem. B cells में क्या problem है? अभी पढ़ा मैम दे बैफ प्रॉब्लम एंड टी सेल्स में क्या प्रॉब्लम है वो भी पढ़ लिया दैट इज आईकॉस प्रॉब्लम अब बताओ इफ आई आस्क यू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज सो सो सिंपल द बैफ जीन डिफेक्ट एसोसिएटेड विद जर्मिनल सेंटर हाइपरप्लेजिया एंड हाइपरप्लेजिया ऑफ ऑल अदर लिम्फर्ड ऑर्गन लाइक पेयर्स पैचेस टॉन्सिल्स तो बैफ एंड हाइपरप्लास्टिक वॉट आर यू मार्किंग ओवर देयर यू आर मार्किंग इट एज अ केस ऑफ सी वी आई डी हाउ सिंपल इफ आई वुड हैव सेड दैट देर इज हाइपो प्लास्टिक जर्मिनल सेंटर भूल जाओ बैफ इफ आई वुड सेड हाइपो प्लास्टिक देन यू वुड हैव कॉल्ड इट 
ब्रू टर्न अब ये थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आया योर वन टू थ्री स्लाइड्स आर डन कैन आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज अभी इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी दो और स्लाइड्स बचा इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी का दिस इज द लास्ट ईयर आई एन आई सी टी क्वेश्चन दे आस्ट यू अ सिंपल वन लाइनर देर इज एन इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी कॉल्ड बेयर लिम्फोसाइड सिंड्रोम वॉट इज बेयर वॉट इज बेयर वॉट इज मिसिंग वॉट इज सम हाउ मिसिंग इट इज गोइंग टू बी एम एच सी टू डिफेक्ट देर इज एम एच सी टू विच हैज गॉन मिसिंग इन दिस पेशेंट दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू नो सिंपल वन लाइनर पेशेंट को इन्फेक्शंस होगा खत्म द नेक्स्ट वन डू यू वॉन्ट टू रिपीट डाइजॉर्ड सिंड्रोम जल्दी से यू हैव टेन सेकेंड्स टू फिनिश इट ऑफ मैम डाइजॉर्ड सिंड्रोम यू जस्ट टेल मी अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन आई गेट टू नो क्या आता है या नहीं बी सेल का प्रॉब्लम या टी सेल का प्रॉब्लम कौन सा डिफेक्ट है आई विल नो फ्रॉम देयर ओनली मैम कैच ट्वेंटी टू कैच ट्वेंटी टू टेल्स मी इट्स अ टी सेल डिफेक्ट इट्स अ टी सेल डिफेक्ट सो रिमेंबर वॉट इज कैच ट्वेंटी टू इन यू हैव फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स टू फिल इट अप विद मी वॉट इज डिलीटेड ट्वेंटी टू क्यू इलेवन इज डिलीटेड वेन ट्वेंटी टू क्यू इलेवन इज डिलीटेड टू ऑर्गन्स आर नॉट फॉर्म दैट इज थाइमस एंड पैराथाइरॉयड नाउ वेन पैराथाइरॉयड इज नॉट फॉर्म वॉट विल हैपन मतलब मैम पैराथाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन नहीं है पैराथाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन नहीं है तो कैल्शियम नहीं होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हाइपोकैल्सीमिया नेक्स्ट मैम यू आर सेंग थाइमस नहीं है थाइमस नहीं है तो टी सेल विल नॉट डिवेलप सो टी सेल डिफेक्ट इज गोइंग टू हैपन सो पैराथाइरॉयड नहीं है हाइपोकैल्सीमिया थाइमस नहीं है तो टी सेल का प्रॉब्लम वॉट एल्स आई थिंक यू ऑल नो दिस पेशेंट हैज क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड क्लेफ्ट पैलेट क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड क्लेफ्ट पैलेट बिकॉज ऑफ विच द फेस ऑफ द पेशेंट इज ऑफकोर्स गोइंग टू लुक अब नॉर्मल सो देर इज अब नॉर्मल फेसिस एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस पेशेंट्स हैव कार्डिया कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑल्सो कार्डिया कॉम्प्लिकेशन में मेनी आर नोन टॉप इज वन ऑफ दैम टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ पैलेट इज वन ऑफ दैम बट देर आर मेनी अदर नोन सो दैट इज कैच ट्वेंटी टू मैम वाई आर वी स्टडिंग इट इन इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी बिकॉज इट इज अ टी सेल प्रॉब्लम टी सेल प्रॉब्लम क्यों है बिकॉज थाइमस इज नॉट फॉर्म सो वॉट डिड आई स्टडी ब्रूटॉन वॉज अ बी सेल प्रॉब्लम I'll quickly revise it for you. Starting from severe combined immunodeficiency, ma'am. Severe combined, combined. So, all the problem was B, T, N, K. Then you told me Bruton. Bruton was a B cell problem. Then you told me Cvid. Cvid was also common, so it was both B and T cell problem. So, where it was common, combined, like Skid was combined. कॉमन वेरिएबल इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी कॉमन है तो ये सब में दोनों दोनों का डिफेक्ट होगा ब्रूटॉन में बी सेल का डिफेक्ट होगा एंड डाइजॉर्ज में टी सेल का डिफेक्ट होगा वेरी गुड डॉक्टर ऑन्को है सेट दैट मैम वेन दिस ट्वेंटी टू क्यू इलेवन गॉट डिलीटेड एक्चुअली द जीन दैट गॉट डिलीटेड वॉज टी बी एक्स वन जीन एक्सेलेंट दैट इज एन आई एन आई सी टी क्वेश्चन एंड दिस टी बी एक्स वन जीन आई डोंट नो वेदर अंकित सर इज स्टिल देर इन क्लास और नॉट बट टी बी एक्स वन जीन इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद अ साइकेट्रिक डिसऑर्डर दैट इज किड्जो फ्रेनिया दैट इज किड्जो फ्रेनिया टी बी एक्स का एसोसिएशन वहाँ भी है ओके नाउ एम लेफ्ट विद द लास्ट टू जल्दी से बता दो दिस इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी वॉट इज हाइपर आई जी एम सिंड्रोम ओके हाइपर आई जी एम सिंड्रोम किसका डिफेक्ट है इट इज अ सी डी फोर्टी डिफेक्ट या तो रिसेप्टर का डिफेक्ट है या सी डी फोर्टी लाइगेंट का डिफेक्ट है सम सी डी फोर्टी डिफेक्ट इज गोइंग टू रिजल्ट इन हाइपर आई जी एम सिंड्रोम एंड देर इज अ रिस्क ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ऑफकोर्स वो तो होगा बट स्पेशली कौन सा इन्फेक्शन न्यूमोसिस्टिस जेरोवेशी और न्यूमोसिस्टिस कैरेनाए इन्फेक्शन न्यूमोसिस्टिस जेरोवेशी और न्यूमोसिस्टिस कैरेनाए इन्फेक्शन सो हाइपर आई जी एम टूमोरो वी विल डू फ्लोसाइटोमेट्री ना देन आई बी एबल टू शो यू दिस फ्लोसाइट Cytometry charts of CD40 ligand and receptor. Okay, coming to the next hyper IG. I am somehow gut feeling wala question jata hai. So yaha jata hai because it's a lot of time they've forgotten kind of hyper IgE. First you will tell me what is it also known as? Ma'am, it is also known as Job syndrome. And Job ko to who wants to do a Job? Job ko stat chhod do. What is the defect? It is going to be stat three defect. Job syndrome. So of course infections and all is okay. But tell me something about teeth and something about their infections which is specific. specific do these patients have cold abscesses number 1 i'm only teaching you medicine job mein मैम जॉब में आई वॉन्ट टू लीव द जॉब स्टैट ओके बिकॉज स्टैट थ्री का डिफेक्ट होता है जॉब में वाई डू आई वॉन्ट टू लीव बिकॉज एवरी वन इज वेरी कोल्ड टू वर्ड्स मी सो देर इज गोनो बी कोल्ड एबसेसिस एंड टीथ देर आर रिटेन्ड प्राइमरी टीथ वेरी गुड राइट रिटेन्ड प्राइमरी टीथ या सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर सिंग मैम आई वॉन्ट टू डू जॉब वी आर डाइंग टू डू अ जॉब सो वी आर ग्रास इज ऑलवेज ग्रीनर ऑन द अदर साइड आई फील के यार कितना ठीक था ना वेन यू जस्ट हैड नाइनटीन बुक्स टू स्टडी एंड नो टेंशन ऑफ वॉट 
वॉट इज यू नो वॉट डायग्नोसिस यू मेड पेशेंट का प्रोग्नोसिस कैसा था हैव यू गिवन अ राइट डायग्नोसिस हैव यू मेड एनी मिस्टेक इज द पेशेंट्स प्रोफाइल गोइंग टू चेंज बिकॉज ऑफ एनी मार्कर दैट यू मिस डाउट सो देन यू फील दैट इट वॉज सो नाइस वैन यू जस्ट हैड टू सेट विद टू हंड्रेड पेजेज एंड जस्ट रीड कैजली बट यू बिलीव दैट मैम यू आर इन द बेस्ट फेज ऑफ योर लाइफ वी वॉन्ट टू डू अ जॉब आई वुड वॉन्ट टू से दैट वंस यू स्टार्ट डूइंग अ जॉब यू विल अंडरस्टैंड के जॉब को स्टार्ट छोड़ने का मन करेगा सो इज ग्रास इज ऑलवेज ग्रीनर ऑन द अदर साइड ओके सो हाइपर आई जी जॉब को स्टार्ट छोड़ो आई एम लेफ्ट विद लास्ट वन फाइनली विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम मैम ये लास्ट इम्यूनो डेफिशिएंसी है विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम डब्ल्यू ए एस यू एड अ पी इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द वेस्ट जीन डिफेक्ट विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम पी and now you will tell me what are the clinical features i've always told you viscot alrich syndrome mein kya karna hai bye bye karna hai because viscot alrich syndrome past kal jo questions galat kare bhul jao bye bye don't worry about them what are those past ko bye bye ma'am number 1 patient has bleeding disorder number 2 of course immuno deficiency hai to infections to hoga and number 3 eczema so now they ask you from pathology point of view why is there bleeding bleeding matlab platelet ka problem platelet mein kya problem sab kuch problem काउंट कम हो गया साइज कम हो गया और भी कुछ पूछा लाइफ स्पैन एनी अदर पैरामीटर मैम सब कुछ खराब है एवरी थिंग इज खराब द ओनली डिजीज इन इंटायर पैथोलॉजी वेर आई हैव टॉट यू स्मॉल साइज प्लेटलेट्स इज दिस देर इज नो अदर डिजीज अदर देन दिस विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम लास्ट बिफोर आई आस्क योर क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द इम्यूनोग्लोबिल इन प्रोफाइल आई जी एम क्या होता है बढ़ेगा कम होगा एंड आई जी ए क्या होगा सो रिमेंबर आई जी एम डिक्रीजेज ए इंक्रीजेज एंड दिस इज हाउ यूज टू ड्रॉ विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम विस्कॉट एल्ड्रिच सिंड्रोम में डब्ल्यू को उल्टा करा मैम यू गेट एम तो आई जी एम इज गोइंग टू बी रिड्यूस्ड एंड ए को स्ट्रेट रखा है तो आई जी ए इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज ओके सो नाउ माई को रिलेशन से इज इन दी एग्जाम इफ आई से आई जी एम इज इंक्रीज तो क्या सोचते हैं मैम आई जी एम इंक्रीज होता तो हम सोचते हाइपर आई जी एम If IgE would have been increased, I would have thought of Job's disease syndrome that is hyper IgE. If I would have had IgG decreased, hypogamma globulinemia, Bruton, such the ma'am. And agar ye profile aaya, M is decreased and A is increased, then I'll think of Viscott-Aldrich syndrome. So now let me ask you a question quickly to see if you were up or you slept off or gone away for lunch. So a male patient presents with eczematous rash over the body with repeated bleeding episodes and of getting repeatedly infected. Bye bye aur is ke andar patient ko. Dekho B for bleeding, I for infections. E for eczema, ma'am. Jaisi patient ko bye bye hua. I searched ki acha bleeding kyun ho raha hai. The only disease where ma'am had taught us small size platelets. Tabi bleeding ho raha hai. This is Viscott Aldrich syndrome. Okay with everyone. One more question for you, which is the last of this topic. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of Viscott Aldrich syndrome? Ulta question. The disease is given. Now you pick up the, you pick up the other one. Okay. So what is this? Okay. C. You said thrombocytosis. Which of the following is a characteristic feature? Really, guys, thrombocytosis. क्या होता है? Thrombocytosis is increase in platelet. Since the past five minutes, I am shouting. Platelet का सब कुछ कम हो जाएगा. Platelet count will decrease. Platelet size will decrease. I am saying everything will decrease. That is why patient will have bye bye. That is why patient will have bleeding. तो ये कैसे correlate करा? You are saying platelet count will increase, and that is a characteristic feature of Viscott Aldrich. Not at all. Does IgM level increase? No. IgM decreases. It is autosomal recessive. No. Oh, what is Viscott Aldrich syndrome? Go back to genetics, and that's your homework for the day. You will revise all the genetics. K. Uh, mnemonics that we have done y is a b c d e f g h that is the genetics of x l r so y is is for viscot aldrich syndrome it is not autosomal recessive it is x l r igm badhta nahi hai igm kam hota hai platelet badhta nahi hai platelet kam hota hai so the characteristic feature over here was eczema so some of you have gone into sleep mode as i can see i kept shouting thrombocytosis nahi hoga thrombocytopenia hoga exactly okay so now your immune no deficiency disorders are done we move on to the next topic which i've got for you sorry this is going a little extensive but two and a half hours to maine plan kara hi tha i had you know i warned you beforehand ke it is going to be two and a half hours okay so which is the likely diagnosis for a patient who has had abdominal distension 
intermittent fever, normal peripheral smear findings and a resected lymph node with the histopathology image provided below. This is a purely INICET favorite topic. Now everyone is back on track. Theek hai ma'am. And this is what someone mentioned which is so right. Exactly what you are doing in your grand tests. Padte ho ek topic kal hi pada hota hai and then you do thrombocytopenia ka thrombocytosis because only thing you've kept in your mind is platelet. Bas, platelet yaad karne se nahi hoga na and wherever you feel overconfident is precisely where you will make a mistake like you did over here. Coming back but here all of you are back on track that is Castleman disease. So ma'am Castleman disease mein na clinical history to mujhe help karega nahi. Clinical history will be very very non-specific. Some lymph node if mentioned, fever hoga, normal findings hai to clinical is not going to help me the image is going to help me so can you answer these questions for me castleman disease ka etiology kaun sa wala virus causes it very good human herpes virus 8 quickly tell me three diseases caused by human herpes virus 8 one of course i will answer sabse easy wala prime uh, kaposi sarcoma and third one you guys have already answered that is castleman disease one in between we are missing and that is primary effusion lymphoma pel primary effusion lymphoma so etiology mujhe pata hai clinical features maybe lymph node hoga fever hoga ma'am kuch bhi aisa striking point nahi hai castleman disease ka which will pick it up clinically so this pathology slide is very important and yes, you can see lollipop follicles. So what is this lollipop? So you just stick hoga, that is going to be a blood vessel. And you just lollipop hoga to eat, that is going to be the lymphoid tissue. So we are going to label it now. All of you can very well see that I can have a, I have a stick going inside. This is a blood vessel and this is the lollipop around it. So this is the blood vessel and this is the lymphoid tissue which is around it. But again, ma'am, this must be the pink wala blood vessel. And you are saying these are the lollipop wala tissue. But this lollipop wala tissue is usually going like this. So that is why I call it a lollipop follicle with onion peel appearance. So lollipop because of this appearance. And your cells, hai, lymphoid cells, they are going round and round. What is going round and round? It is the mantle cell zone which is going round and round. It is the mantle cell layers which are giving that onion peel kind of appearance. Very simple. So, we have to this to give a diagnosis of Castleman. Not, no history of lymph node and all is going to help me. So, remember lollipop, onion peel. These two, they will ask you virus that is HHV8. Mantle cell also some of you know which is superb. If it's not detail in detail, so then... That is very, very, very nice. Okay, let me ask you a question where I can probably chill a little because I have asked you this multiple times. There is a patient reported experience difficulty breathing during physical activity for a period of one month. Echocardiogram revealed the presence of mitral stenosis and left ventricular hypertrophy. The following histopath image has been given and what do you want to make the diagnosis over here? All of you have mentioned A. Achha, is it that all of you have solved this question from the prep ladders Q bank? Because the question and the options are the same but the image I have changed. So in case you have solved the same from prep ladders Q bank. Over there, the image was this, okay. This was the image and then if you marked RHD, I would go with you. But you did not realize that I changed the image. I am not that stupid that I will copy paste a Q bank question which sab saw bar kar chuke hain. And I will say dubara ek bar karo after two and a half hours of the session. I will get something new in it, okay. So now remember the answer to this is box car nuclei hypertrophy. It was mentioned something to do with hypertrophy. Any kind of hypertrophy in the heart. Whether it is following a stenosis, whether it is following hypertension, any kind of first aid book may be tha, okay. Jaha se bhi question pada, but kahi na kahi you have gone by the ratta mode for this question, hai na? But you forgot that I could have changed the image. Examiner can change one one word. Overconfidence killed the cat. Parte the school mein, you are the cat. Okay, so you have been killed by your overconfidence. Get a little underconfident now for today's class remaining. Ye kya nucleus dikh hai? This is going to be the box car nucleus whenever i say box car there are two questions one in pathology box car nucleus kaha milega any kind of hypertrophy that hypertrophy could be because of hypertension because of aortic stenosis mitral stenosis anything any hypertrophy in the heart whereas in pathology ke baad micro if they say box car ya bamboo stick bacilli that is going to be bacillus anthracis 
ठीक है ब्रेन नॉट ब्रेनिंग डेफिनेटली नॉट ब्रेनिंग आई कैन सी दैट बट नो आई थिंक मोर देन ब्रेन नॉट ब्रेनिंग इट्स दी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस विच इज गेटिंग टू यू गाइज सो रट्टा वाला क्वेश्चन अब रटना बंद करो आंसर्स विल चेंज इमेज विल चेंज दिस इज बॉक्स कार न्यूक्लियर बट वॉट यू हैड लर्न अच्छा बिफोर आई गोन टू दैट वेर डू यू सी निंजा स्टार न्यूक्लियस इन द हार्ट वेर डू वी सी द निंजा स्टार न्यूक्लियस इन द हार्ट दैट इज सीन इन ये तो पता है मैम डायलेटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी डायलेटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी जिसके अंदर वो टाइटन म्यूटेशन होता है मैम उसके अंदर अच्छा हंटिंग टेन में ऑल्सो वेंट्रिकल यू आर राइट बॉक्स कार करेक्ट गाइज ओके सो निंजा स्टार दो चीजें जल्दी से बिफोर आई गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन निंजा स्टार न्यूक्लियस डीसीएम में होता है एंड बॉक्स कार न्यूक्लियस अकर्स इन एनी हाइपरट्रॉफी ऑफ द हार्ट लाइक यू आर सींग हियर बट वॉट यू वर यूज टू वर्स दिस यू सेट के मैम हम तो हमेशा माइट्रल स्टेनोसिस पढ़ेंगे एंड माइट्रल स्टेनोसिस में बनाएंगे फिश माउथ वाला वेल्व एंड उसके बाद हम कुछ नहीं पढ़ेंगे आगे लाइफ में वी विल मेक फिश माउथ वेल्व एंड वी विल मार्क एश ऑफ बॉडी फॉर रोमैटिक हार्ट डिजीज सो प्लीज रिमेंबर रोमैटिक हार्ट डिजीज में एश ऑफ बॉडी me if i ask you if i just zoom in examiner will zoom in and examiner will say what is this cell that you are seeing there is a cell jisme aisa zigzag kuch ja raha hai so what is that ash of body may that zigzag cell that you have so ma'am some people call it caterpillar and instead of zigzag if you start seeing it like this some people call it owl eye whether you see it as caterpillar it's the same cell either it's seen as a caterpillar or it is seen like this like an owl's eye both of them are the same very good that is anishkau cell ठीक है दैट इज एनिशकाउ सेल्स विच आर सीन इन विच बॉडी विच आर सीन इन दी एश ऑफ बॉडीज वेरी वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर ठीक है एनी वन एल्स एनी अदर डाउट दैट यू हैव परफेक्ट ठीक है सबका एनिशकाउ था अच्छा समवन सेड मैम डॉर्फ प्लेटलेट्स आर ऑल्सो सीन इन सी एम एल डॉक्टर अनुभव डॉर्फ प्लेटलेट से ज्यादा डॉर्फ mega karyocyte is seen in cml there's a difference because mega karyocyte is the precursor of the platelet in the bone marrow so dwarf mega karyocytes are more common in cml okay acha ash of body ka necrosis bhi bata do because aaj koi necrosis wala question hi nahi kara baby questions to we said ignore so fibrinoid necrosis fibrinoid necrosis is seen in ash of body very good now i think we are ready for i believe almost the last question has come जल्दी से आंसर हाँ दिस आई बिलीव लास्ट और सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो नाउ यू हैव दैट क्लॉक टेकिंग ओके प्लीज मैच द करेक्ट दिस इज फ्रॉम योर क्यू बैंक येस दिस इज सो अगर रट्टा लगा के आयो देन दिस यू हैव टू गेट एक एक करके बता दो कैन यू टेल मी प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा को कहाँ मार्क करें मैम प्लियोमोर्फिक एडिनोमा जीन सो वेन आई से प्लियोमोर्फिक एडिनोमा जीन येस सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी हैविंग वन के साथ डी एक्सेलेंट बर्किट्स लिम्फोमा सिंपल बर्किट्स लिम्फोमा विल ऑलवेज बी सीमिक बर्किट्स लिम्फोमा वी नो ट्रांसलोकेशन एट एंड एनी इवन नंबर तो वो सीमिक के साथ होगा ओके न्यूरोब्लास्टोमा ऑल्सो वी नो एन फॉर एन इट इज गोइंग टू बी एन मेक एंड रेटेनोब्लास्टोमा तो कोई बिल्कुल ही सो गया है अगर उसे नहीं पता कि आर बी जीन का म्यूटेशन है सो वाई डिड आई गेट सच अस्टूप सिंपल क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर बिकॉज नो वन प्रिटी मच गोइंग टू आस्क यू और यू नो ऑल दिस ये तो पता है जो चीज जहां पे प्रॉब्लम है दैट इज प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा मैम देर इज वन आई एन आई सी टी क्वेश्चन ऑन प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा वो करने से पहले हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ मिक डू वी हैव वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मिक वन इज गोइंग टू बी सी मिक वन इज गोइंग टू बी एल मिक एंड वन इज गोइंग टू बी एन मिक हमेशा तीन टाइप का मिक सी डॉट एल डॉट एन डॉक्टर अनुभव आई थिंक यू कॉपी पेस्टेड दन अगेन आई ऑलरेडी आंसर डॉ क्वेरी डो ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स नहीं होता सी एम एल में डो ऑफ मेगा कैरियोसाइट होता है आई जस्ट आंसर दिस लाइक फाइव मिनट्स बैक ओके सो कमिंग बैक सी मिक एल मिक एंड एन मिक जल्दी से एन मिक कहाँ यहाँ क्वेश्चन में था दैट इज गोइंग टू बी न्यूरो ब्लास्टोमा एल मिक कहाँ है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी स्मॉल सेल लंग कैंसर मैम ऑल द एल 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 वाला थिंग एंड सी मेक इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट इट इज गोइंग टू बी बर्किट्स लिम्फोमा सो दिस इज सिंपल ये तो सबसे सॉल्व हो जाएगा प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा को क्या क्वेश्चन था जो आई एन आई सी टी में आया था विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ऑब्जर्व इन प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा नॉट ऑब्जर्व इन प्लियोमोर्फिक एडेनोमा यस माओएपिथीलियल सेल्स कैरेटिन पर्ल्स कॉन्ड्रोय डिफ्रेंसिएशन और पेरीन्यूरल इन्वेशन ओके बी एंड डी सम ऑफ यू आर सेंग कैरेटिन पर्ल्स एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू हैव सेट पेरीन्यूरल इन्वेशन इट्स दी ऑल टाइम कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल क्वेश्चन सो आई वॉन्टेड टू फिनिश द क्लास ऑन अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज दिस सी अल्टीमेटली इफ यू गो बाई लिटरेचर एंड मेडिसिन इज सच के वन या टू परसेंट को इंक्लूड करो तो ऑल ऑफ दीज कैन बी सीन इन प्लेमोफिक एडेनोमा बट देन वेन आई हैव टू मार्क 
most of you are very confident ki keratin pearls are not seen so now now what we decided i read through multiple articles for this because this question came in i and i and created a lot of confusion among students different answers and different sources so i just want to show you pleomorphic adenoma and then you can decide for your answer on your own okay when i say pleomorphic adenoma to iska kya uh, naam hai surgery mein ma'am it's a benign mixed tumor benign i understand it is okay and pleomorphic adenoma gene hoga p l a gene okay so plag is the gene common sense benign tumor hai common sense mixed tumor hai what do i mean by mixed मिक्स्ड मीन्स दिस विल गिव यू योर आंसर मिक्स्ड इज गोइंग टू बी एपिथीलियल कॉम्पोनेंट भी होगा इसके अंदर एंड मीजन काइमल कॉम्पोनेंट भी होगा मैम एपिथीलियल एंड मीजन काइमल बोथ विल बी देयर ओके वेन आई से एपिथीलियम एपिथीलियम कुड बी एनी एपिथीलियम इट कुड बी ग्लैंड मे बी इट कुड बी स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम मे बी इट कैन शो यू स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम एंड इफ स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम इज सीन देन मे बी इट कैन शो यू कैराटिन पर्स वाई डू ऑल ऑफ यू थिंक दैट कैराटिन पर्स मतलब स्क्वामस सेल कार्सिनोमा कैन नॉर्मल स्किन नॉट मेक कैराटिन कैन नॉर्मल एपिथीलियम नॉट मेक कैराटिन सो इफ यू आर सेंग दैट ओवर हेयर यू आर सींग एपिथीलियम ऑफ एनी टाइप मे बी दैट एपिथीलियम इज गोइंग टू बी you know a kind of an uh, epithelium of squamous type and maybe that is making keratin pearls so remember epithelium has two types of cells number one is going to be the ductal cells and the other one are going to be the myoepithelial cells or to make your life a little easier you learn it as epithelial and myoepithelial cells but can it show you squamous epithelium can it show you keratin pearls dikh sakta hai yes possible any kind of epithelium has been reported in pleomorphic adenoma ma'am what do I मीन बाई मीज एन काइमल उससे पहले ये सारा जो पार्ट है दैट इज योर एपिथीलियल मायो एपिथीलियल डॉक्टल मायो एपिथीलियल सेल ये सेल वाला पार्ट है वॉट इज मीज एन काइमल मीज एन काइमल इज कॉन्ड्रॉइड कार्टिलेज जैसा दैट इज वाई यू लुक एट द रेस्ट ऑफ द पिक्चर इट इज ऑल लुकिंग कार्टिलेज जैसा मैम इट इज ऑल लुकिंग ब्लू इन कलर एंड लाइक कार्टिलेज सो दैट इज द कॉन्ड्रो मिग्जॉइड स्ट्रोमा दैट इज नोन एज द कॉन्ड्रो मिग्जॉइड stroma so it is a mixed tumor na it shows both epithelium and myoepithelium that is why surgery may it is called mixed tumor now come back to the question can it show you myoepithelial cells epithelium myoepithelium dikhta hai ma'am can that sometimes show you keratin pearls yes can that show you mesenchymal chondroid yes what does it uh, can it show you in 1 to 2% cases perineural invasion yes but exam mein kuch to mark karna tha na so now my answer is perineural invasion over here because now you will tell me which is that salivary gland tumor and which are all the tumors that show you perineural invasion specially kaun sa salivary gland tumor hai yes which salivary gland tumor is going to show you someone said adenoid cystic so remember pancreatic cancer can show you perineural invasion prostate cancer can show you perineural invasion and salivary gland mein adenoid cystic carcinoma can show you perineural invasion that is why they say that adenoid cystic carcinoma ka jab patient aayega with a swelling say in the parotid or any other gland they will say and usually parotid hi hota hai the patient will say that he is having a lot of pain that is what the patient is going to put up over here why because the nerves are affected rarely pleomorphic adenoma ha show kar sakta hai but hame ek select karna tha over here so we have selected perineural invasion now what did you mention you mentioned adenoid cystic carcinoma pad liya ma'am it is painful wala tumor and pleomorphic ka photo you have shown us then might as well ma'am one very famous question comes ट्यूमर तो छोड़ो नॉर्मल सलाइवरी ग्लैंड हमें पूछा जाता है सलाइवरी ग्लैंड और पैंक्रियाज का हिस्टोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आता है आई नो यू वर एक्सपेक्टिंग कि इसके बाद मैम विल नॉट टीच एनीथिंग बट दिस इज योर विश इफ यू वांट टू मिस इट बिकॉज दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच ऑल ऑफ यू हैव बीन गेटिंग रॉन्ग सो स्किप एट योर ओन रिस्क जेनुअनली द लास्ट वन हाउ डू आई डिफ्रेंशिएट इन द एग्जाम बिटवीन सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एज वेल एज अ पैंक्रियाज वाई आर दे सेम एंड वाई आर दे different sabse pehle why are they same because if you look at the acni how are the acni in salivary gland ma'am ek to mujhe dikh rahe hain bilkul pink dark pink color acni and these are what these are serous acni because they are they are having what granules this to basic anatomy abhi kal pad ke aaye ho ma'am those zymogen granules and all are there to wo dark pink color ke acni hai dusra salivary gland mein i can see these whitish whitish ones these must be having mucus so these are known as mucus acni so basically salivary gland has two acni pink wale are serous and white wale are going to be mucus right this is basic 
whereas when i come to the pancreas i will realize can i again see those very pink color acni over here also yes i can they are extremely pink that is why i say ki acha acni to yahan bhi hai so in the first look pancreas and salivary gland looks very similar to even a pathologist to even a histology person to even to you in the exam so they will mark ki ye pancreas kyun hai because suddenly in that very pink area you will see an area which has become very light pink अब देखोगे तो और भी मिलेगा कि मैम ओके यू सेट कोई बहुत लाइटर पिंक एरिया आएगा कैन यू नोटिस वन मोर कैन यू टेल मी क्लॉक वाइज कहाँ इन दिस इन दिस सर्कल फॉर एग्जांपल कौन से क्लॉक पे आपको एक और लाइट एरिया दिख रहा है फॉर मी आई डोंट नो हाउ इट इज प्रोजेक्टेड ऑन द स्क्रीन बट फॉर मी समवेयर अराउंड फोर ओ क्लॉक आई कैन ऑल्सो सी देर इज अनादर राउंड एरिया हियर मैम वॉट आर दीज येस पैंक्रियाज में क्या होगा आईलेट्स ऑफ लैंग दीज आर दी आईलेट्स एंड नाउ वेन आई स्टार्ट सींग दीज आई एम लाइक ये सलाइवरी ग्लैंड नहीं है आई एम सींग आईलेट्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ केस ऑफ पैंक्रियाज सो रिमेंबर इन दी एग्जाम योर सीरियस एस एन आई विल लीड टू अ कन्फ्यूजन ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एंड पैंक्रियाज रिमेंबर सलाइवरी ग्लैंड में आपको और भी दिखेगा you will see mucus acni also and in pancreas you will see these islets of langhans the endocrine part will also be there exactly so now coming back salivary gland humne normal bhi dekh liya ma'am salivary gland mein humne pleomorphic adenoma ka photo dekh liya salivary gland mein humne ye bhi dekh liya ke there is a tumor which is very very painful so ab if you don't finish off the last topic then who misses this is going to miss one mark so this is superstitious belief i have lug out here jisne ye miss kara uska ek mark gaya and truly this is my promise after this i have nothing more to teach you last question for the day 40 year old chronic smoker hint number 1 bilateral swellings in the parotid region hint number 2 the swellings were soft and cystic hint number 3 there is going to be bilateral to dono parotid ka size diya hai the fnc showed murky fluid in the syringe next hint and they have got an excision biopsy everyone has started with wardens tumor excellent so i'll just explain what is wardens tumor wardens tumor ka sabse pehle clinically ma'am clinically patient i'm not saying always but many a times there can be bilateral parotid gland involvement and the patient is going to be a smoker so these two histories are very very important after that now what is the other name of wardens Papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum. बहुत बहुत fancy सा tough नाम है Cyst word अगर देखें तो मतलब मैम इसमें कोई fluid है This means when I will do FNSE, my syringe, my needle will be full of fluid, and that fluid is known as murky fluid. So one thing is clear that murky fluid दैट फ्लूड इज नोन एज मर्की फ्लूड सो वन थिंग इज क्लियर दैट मर्की फ्लूड होगा ओके पैपिलरी सिस्ट एडेनोमा पैपिलरी मतलब कुछ ऐसे पैपिले बनेंगे आई कैन सी देर इज सम रैंडम पैपिले पैपिले काइंड ऑफ थिंग फॉर्मिंग दिस इज वन पैपिले okay if i look at the papillae this is the question that you've seen in your pyq bank how many layers of cells are seen there are two layers of oncocytic cells there are two layers of oncocytic cells fine to so, papillary word samajh aa gaya ma'am with two layers of cells cyst word samajh aa gaya ki usme fluid hai adenoma oma will tell me it is what kind of a tumor it is a benign tumor now lymphomatosum can you see a lot of blue color component a lot of blue color component so all of that blue color component is going to be the lymphoid tissue now the entire word is making sense papillae hote hain with a cyst it's a benign tumor with lymphoid tissue papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum that is the other name of wardens tumor bilateral parotid hoga as in this patient chronic smoker hoga fnsc pe murky fluid milega same wo papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum ka story hoga that is going to be wardens tumor as promised this is the last question of the day and yes we are settled at least for today tomorrow is another day another torture that we are going to have for two and a half hours and telling you in advance which viral infection mumps mein hota hai mumps mein bachcho mein bilateral parotid involved hota hai now any other questions you have of course you can ask me right now for others who are dying of hunger due to lunch time being crossed please run away and have your lunch eat your lunch rest detox and start with your studies tomorrow we will be studying and tomorrow we have a uh, don't worry uh, dr astha tomorrow we have a couple of new wale questions like i have to tell you some questions on ngs and like you said nested pcr i have a couple of new new things which are kept for tomorrow so cart therapy and immuno i don't want to reveal those i don't want you to study for those and come not needed i will teach you whatever is necessary for those okay 
so i'll take care of that for tomorrow and what to study after this now first obviously for path your priority is going to be lrr inict part 1 part 2 and uske sath agar rr notes jaise abhi jaise ratta laga ke suna rahe ho mujhe i am so happy with it i would be more than happy if you just stick to these but if you feel that no i'm not very confident in my rr notes other any other chhota youtube session that i can see then you can look at the january ka neat pg mein although neat pg was postponed but my lrr for path had been conducted in january so there are two sessions of pathology in the jan that will take care of the little baby or topics also which i have not included here because this is for i and i so in case you are not very confident about going through the entire 19 hours then my advice is that rr agar वैसे तो करो देर इज देर शुड नॉट बी एनी एस्केप बट अगर मेजर टाइम क्रंच एंड क्राइसिस चल रहा है लाइफ में देन आई एम गिविंग यू एन ऑप्शन फॉर दोज दैट डू दीज टू एल आर आर एल आर आर ऑफ राइट नाउ एंड डू द एल आर आर ऑफ जनवरी नीट पी जी देन दैट शुड टेक केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा एंड डोंट वेरी एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स टू मोरो यू विल गेट ऑल ऑफ दोज दैट यू बिन आस्किंग मी नेक्स्ट अदर वीडियोज टू बिंज वॉच एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस वन पहले तो मतलब दिस दिस गेट्स यू डाउन टू फोर सेशंस टूडे एंड टू मोरो एंड टू मोर सेशंस तो पहले तो फोर सेशंस ये सिमिलरली थ्री सेशंस ऑफ माइक्रो आई विल टेल यू इनफ फॉर यू टू बिंज वॉच इवेंचुअली दैट आई एम गोन गिव यू डोंट वेरी ओके एंड एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स टू मोरो यू विल गेट टू मोरो यू विल गेट ऑल योर न्यू न्यू थिंग्स जो बचा था टू मोरो इज द डे ऑफ वैक्यूटेनर्स नीडल्स क्लीमा सारा वैक्यूटेनर स्टोरी ऑर्डर ऑफ ब्लड ड्रॉ न्यू बर्स चेम्बर आर बी सी पिपेट विंट्रो वेस्टग्रेन वो सारा जो नीडल पिपेट वाला इरिटेटिंग स्टोरी है वो पढ़ना है देन वी हैव टू डू न्यू अर थिंग्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अनदर टू टू एंड हाफ आवर सेशन ओके राइट थैंक यू फॉर द अटेंडेंस आई होप एवरी वन द रियल डील विल बी डॉक्टर राहुल इफ एवरी वन रिटर्न टूमोरो so it's like return once you've tortured everyone and then someone returns that is what i take as a compliment so let's see tomorrow if i get that compliment uh, dr onko is asking where is loss or gain of function seen there are very few for which you have to learn i'll give you a list nothing uh, very i mean you don't have to do it for too many diseases i'll tell you two abhi ke liye homework kar lo kal ke liye fragile x syndrome mein yaad kar lo what is loss or gain and other is peutz jeghers syndrome these are the two main questions you get for loss of function gain of function so dr onko that's your homework for tomorrow and i will give you the answers tomorrow fragile x mein loss hota hai gain hota hai and peutz mein loss hota hai gain hota hai tomorrow you will get but um, because i am a kind of person that my changes in ppt keep happening till the very last minute so you will get the unannotated pdf only 10 minutes before the session because i keep adding things here there whatever i feel so i can't give it one day prior i somehow can't function like that but i will give it to you that is my uh, promise okay but you will get it 10 minutes prior to the session okay so um ओके सो कैसल मैन डिजीज कहाँ पढ़ाया है आई हैव टॉट यू अंडर मेन वीडियोज में एक तो लिम्फ नोट वाले चैप्टर में है एंड यू ऑल्सो हैव इट इन योर एच एच वी एट नियो प्लेजिया में पढ़ा है ना तो यू विल फाइंड इट इन द नियो प्लेजिया चैप्टर how to do effective recall without a study partner having fomo no don't worry don't have fomo with study partners and with two three people sitting there's more of chit chat and tea coffee breaks than actual study so don't have fomo of not having a study partner don't worry at all you can there are two ways one is that you write and study like like i used to do that or you shout and study which also i used to do so i used to shout my lungs out and study so basically don't do that but shout and study means you talk to yourself you might sound or might seem a little impossible to people around you but when you start teaching yourself or just imagine someone in front of you teaching yourself or teaching someone that is what is going to keep the pace for you so either you write and study to prevent sleep attacks or you uh, speak and study which is like teaching someone and that is going to keep up the pace for you even if you don't have a study partner okay going to name your kids lal and mithu all the best Yeah, I think you can. You can do better. You can have better names. Okay, so uh, fragile X syndrome is Dr. Ananya. Yes, it's a controversy. Fragile X syndrome is both XLR and XLD, and I'll tell you. As per Robbins, it is XLR. वॉट आर आर टू बाइबल्स आर टू बाइबल्स आर रॉबिन्स एंड हैरिसन तो उन दोनों में तो एक्स एल आर लिखा है दैट इज वाई आई टीच एक्स एल आर बट देर इज वन वेरी नाइस बुक कॉल डेविडसन एंड डेविडसन में एक्स एल डी लिखा है बट इट्स अबाउट बोथ आर पॉसिबल सो आई गो बाई मेजोरिटी बुक्स में क्या लिखा है मेजोरिटी बुक्स में एक्स एल आर लिखा है तो वी गो फॉर एक्स एल आर 
ठीक है ए टू जेड सीरीज ऑफ स्टेन्स यस यू आर गो गेट टू इन द इवनिंग सी एंड टुमारो डी अल्फाबेट सो नाउ वी आर गोनो गो ऑलमोस्ट डेली और ऑल्टरनेट बिकॉज वी हैव टू फिनिश ए टू जी बिफोर मे आई एन आई सी टी सो नाउ वी आर गोनो बी अ लिटिल मोर फास्टर इन दैट ए टू जी सीरीज एंड फॉर दोज हुर हैविंग पोमो फॉर दैट ऑल्सो इफ यू आर नॉट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम नेवर माइंड इट इज ऑन इंस्टा एंड यूट्यूब बोथ ओके सो यू विल फाइंड इट राइट एनी अदर क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव आई बिलीव I've consumed too much of your time today. Not my type of class where we finish under two hours. We've almost crossed two hour forty minutes. So any other questions you have, put it in the comments below. I will answer all your queries. And tomorrow, with a fresh mind, do come back. Don't run away. This is gonna help you a lot in your exams. So I've got a couple of new things to teach you tomorrow. Exactly at twelve, we'll be starting off. Right. Thank you so much for joining in, and see you tomorrow very soon. Mm -hmm.